Oh, I can hear the music also finally. Wow. Thank you, Chetan. Thank you, Mr. Husband, double seven. Thank you, Mr. Addict. Kumar S. Colin Sarah. Okay. So we are playing Friday Prime by Black Guarantee. Um, one thing, how can I get the volume of this uh, down a little bit? On Thank you, flying bird. Gosh. I'm too addy. Last night. Happen act. I'm gonna. I thought I'm gonna share that. And I win. No worries. Oh, nice. Done. Addy. I want all. Nice. So, how's it going Friday night? What are you guys doing? <laughs> you know, I realized after grinding right, that it takes a good planned routine and a schedule for you to actually ace series like and make them count. I'm going to do that, especially for the main tournament. have to be super well rested. And definitely did not find any time to do hand histories today. But I was thinking maybe after this. Over some hands. There was this one. And. I opened. Pocket nines. Under the gun. During the late stage. Um. The big blind defended. I had around two six. I'm gonna Oh hello, greetings to the team pro. Thank you. This year, you know our New Year resolution. One of us, right? With us on this grind, on this journey and Especially when the other pro and there will be a lot of doors and opportunity to one day come and sit right here dreaming for Pokabazi or have your own career. Avaz Nahiari. Oh, hello. Perfect. I'm wearing all heavy duty set by Addy. What?
ashes di <laughs> why all these things displayed here <laughs> Num- thank god there no number of rebuys <laughs> 26 rebuys <laughs> adi fun tour to goa someone saying talking to you chats talking to you and why can't we hit a four on the floor i have you know and whenever i fold pocket fours because of uh, roti rotterdam you know for always always whenever i fold and whenever i call it doesn't come he's like but that's the whole scene <laughs> you can never fold it oh we don't have any oh we still win without it hardly any nut ratios on that board <laughs> wow nice you're supposed to take down the pots that don't belong to us at them also Thank you, thank you, Kader Khan. Rocks. First, I thought bit some. Nice. Oh, look, look now. Look at look at all the fours have come to punish. Where? Um, I don't. I have done full study about RNG, and I'm a very sure about it. I know all these things are so random, but uh, there's this uh, friend of ours, and he's a commentator as well, poker commentator, Rotterdam, and he's put a curse on pocket four. Sitting at home, too cold to plan anything. I feel you. I feel. You. I was in Delhi for a few. Weeks. I was feeling. Yes. I cold. Take me to the hills every year when we, for at least two months, just pack up and go to Nainital. I've um, and then I didn't realize what I'm missing out on or what she was protecting me from. She was protecting me from like the um, month of July in Delhi, which is extreme hot. So Delhi is such an extreme. Uh, it's got extreme weathers, right? So yeah, to escape that, I used to be in Dolve. and and then i was just like so sick of it uh but then now that's why i was like i always love goa i always love the beach I'm always scared of goa like, get to do anything happy new year ace is on fire i hope all of you have a great year ahead win lots and lots of money lots and lots of poker tournaments And yeah, if you think cold, I'm gonna give you a very um, a bad advice, but take it, selfish one. Uh, there's this uh, very cool heating pad. Okay. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> it's safe. I ordered one. I'll give you the link on it on my thing, so you can use that. And you might find this funny, but. So it's not. I, Adi, let me tell you this. Okay, take me seriously here. Yeah? So heat therapy really helps you relax in high stress situations. So in a lot of poker tournaments or in a lot of big tournaments, uh, you can be sitting on it. Your chair could be heated. Anything to do, like, yeah. it's very important he, uh, heat therapy helps you relax and um, and especially in high pressure situations so yeah it's imagine like um, a poker tournament with like a heating pad you guys can guess if i've done that already or not <laughs> and that also in one of the biggest tournaments in the world <laughs> with the um, you know that uh, portable battery that's keeping it on no no i had my own power bank connected with my backpack what is the blue marking of the player indicate pro or fish um <clears throat> blue is actually good 
I've done blue and I've uh, I used to I've changed a few things that's why I don't have much notes because I used to take my notes on a different tool and a software I used to use external HUD and now obviously it's been years since that thing has changed and Pokabazi has its own thing so now I started taking notes here also and earlier I was very blessed with this uh, discord channel also where um, I remember when I was uh, training under IPP and a lot of us, if anybody wanted to know that, you know, have you played with this player before? So you could just search or there was one more tip that you could search on, you know, on Google their player names. So if there's an article on that player, you already know that player is a, a reg or not. Thank you, Pradeep. Thank you, Abhishek, Gautam. Ishita in the house. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll tell you. There's some other. Don't take the colors seriously, guys. I have to update my notes on a lot of players. And thank God you can't change IDs and all. You can't do all of that. But I think one thing I know that it was allowed, which is if your name is already there in your ID and you want to change it because you did not know when you were it, uh, that, you know, it's whatever. So some a lot of poker sites allow you to email them, go back and forth, explain it uh, to them that this is my problem and they can help you out and help you change your ID. Around 60. 60 plus. Are you tracking my big blinds also? <laughs> you know like how they have in a live tournament up and down. Any further plans to offline poker events anywhere in India? I think so. Adi, do you have any offline poker event on, your, on the cards for... How did I, how did I? Voice is breaking. Good luck. Thank you, Surendra. There's a little black black mixed in the green. That's all right. No. There is a little bit of a black shade in the green. That's coming even when the music is good. Okay, hi. Perfect, no? Thank you, Surin. And let me see if I have to. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. It's fine. I don't, I don't think I have anything. There'll be only like uh, online shopping sites. Maybe. But uh, actually, you'd be surprised the kind of stuff <laughs> that could be there. <laughs> I trust you for not going in the history. <laughs> Thank you, Flying Bird. I'm going to give you points. All right. All in. One Sometimes you'll see like some uh, conspiracy theories open on my laptop. I don't think so. Even if it does, it's fine. 
it's fine let me know guys we might be logged out for one second <laughs> it's okay i have trash i have a robby right now jack <laughs> uh, i did a bit of a research on my side oh yeah yeah i log i got logged out yay <laughs> it's okay guys actually just change that's fine we are talking we are chit chatting Aries. It was perfect timing. I did a bit. Stop using or playing. Ciao. I prefer cold. Thank you. Great advice. I completely agree with. and that's the reason uh, i am also like i haven't replied to people i made a new year resolution that i'm going to reply to all my unread messages <laughs> i still haven't done that because of this reason only and i am so focused and so uh, and i also practice mindfulness and when you do that you have to be completely present and cognizant of everything around you i read a great tweet today <clears throat> you know share that So that tweet was about how <clears throat> I think these senior citizen gamers in Taiwan have been competing on a very very high level, and they said that uh, this something we do for our brain, and it's very important. It keeps us going. Those guys are competing very very different level. So I'm gonna share that tweet. Thank you, Gurpal. Thank you, Jesse. Jessica Poker. I hope Addy is in a good mood and rewards tons of points today. <laughs> Twenty points just for that. <laughs> so I'm playing a hand, a uh, multi-way, jacks. <laughs> I'm king on the flop, so you know how life is. Right now. Uh, but yes, um, against their range, just very lean. I decided not to bet pre right now. I guess we could, uh, just keep a lot of their bluffs in by doing that. Or we can try go. Getting great odds. Uh, any which way view? Rising. Half pot or seventy-five. I. Not gonna check down. Lines and my range. Thank you. Thanks so much, Moss.
Last night I even had pro on my team. And get a very fun hand in front of me. <laughs> and yeah, yesterday one more very big hand. So yeah, we were talking about pocket nines. I opened under the cover. Nine defended. Uh, they covered us. And they were fairly active. And what happens here is the flop is ace, jack, deuce, e bet, turn it, another a, check, check. Uh, river is another do. And here they bet a uh, pot. Where um, I just thankful. That was this one hand. That was significant. Um, then after that, someone hero called me with Ace King. That was a fun. And then I then one hand we played when I had Ace in the big blind, and I didn't know. Defended, and then I flatted red all clubs. I did not have a. Then the turn came another clubs. I have a set, and then. I bet I let out because my hand was still in a very bad shape. But then, if he ends up calling and up on the river, big, big hand and a bot. So, yeah. but yeah, I had to bet that. Then I had Ace versus. A lot of players were calling me down with like suited 10 and then did like a king 9 suit. But I was, I got lucky like right card at the right time. On the final thing, I got like very short. I got short at under 10 big. I needed that because every one one had had more than average. If I had ten, one hand get back and for a bit of a ICM that was going that was going to uh, come into play when I bust. After I busted, comes. Cheesy mob. Thank you. Thank you, Gagan. And Pradeep, I am. I'm seeing colors. Okay. I promise you. Next month, colors. By then, I'm gonna. And. I remember back in the day, red on. Super crazy. But then most of them were good players also. Like some of them were like such good players, known players. Then they were crazy. Can I do? <laughs> I had to like put a red that you know danger or whatever color you want. Like any of you. Bless you. I just muted, cleared my. Th <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting good.
Uh, you can play the test also, which is happening. Shark Tank, in where you have to take a picture. I think. And you just follow the step on Poker Bazi's account. A post that has a couple of steps to Oh, is my voice better, guys? How's my voice? Check. You can help me with the sound. Check. Chat again. Okay, so what are the steps to participate? Spot us on Sony Live during Shark Tank Eat India Season 2 and take a selfie. Spot us me. You will see like these banner ads when the show is. Um, there are. You have to spot those ads, those banner ads, or maybe even the ad that runs uh, during the break. Take a picture of that and take a selfie. So just make sure your face. And share it on your story. Tag us, you poker tank and poker bazi hashtag because these guys are following these two hashtags. So it's very important that your post or your entry comes at. Uh, I have to. I've got king. I'm just gonna flat it with plus one. Yeah, so nice. Oh, look what happened on this table with the kings. I'm also playing this tournament. One, two, three, five. Good luck, good luck. What's your ID? And then to com confirm your... Okay, one second. You have to mention your Pokabazi ID also. You do that as well. Is my voice coming, guys? You didn't say. Okay. Maybe it's the. Okay, so Shubham. Awesome. Like that. Oh, nice. They seem like a fairly uh, active play. <laughs> they had a legit hand though. <laughs> First hand, they're like. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Not on stream. My sound is not clear. Hello? Oh. I guess, yeah, I'm not going to move it. Let me know if my voice is now. Done a bit of an adjustment. And did you see what happened with But then that's life. Ace on the river. Supposed to happen. <clears throat> and it would have been really boring. To, actually, never boring to the chip lead. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. I just don't have to move it. Oof. 
So does this happen to you? Choose hands in a row and you are in one very big juicy pot. Everything makes up for it. <laughs> I'm saying does this happen to you? Gagan Nagpal? What is his question? I'm trying to understand. Bless you. Is this a pun from a show? I'm trying to understand. I'm gonna give up <laughs> in three seconds. Done. Oh. Yeah, can we can make a note on right? They put in hundred and very early. Ace Jack. Um, I would not advise that. Yes, we like kings is like the probably queens as well. That's it. Oh, yes. And I mean, do I guess it doesn't? It doesn't matter. Double up right now. Oh, no. does not matter if you're risking. You're gonna be much more times you double up. Agent 16, thank you so much. Good luck to you also. I know we all are grinding right now. What happened? Of course. Oh, someone. <laughs> yeah, I know, Naresh. What? Can you imagine on that also on stream? I should have given a better reaction. <laughs> I was away. Did I see the hand? Let me see if I can show the Last half, I had king queen good, and I think <clears throat> I hit three red three. 
I had this guy had Jack and one Queen of Cups. Get Queen Jack off. The floppers <clears throat> eight two skin. All clubs. And then we all Muscat voice. So in I my microphone. Try. Addy, can we change the mic? Do you have like a small mic or something? Some headphones. I don't know. Because this is breaking. I got them. I'm gonna change the mic for you. And but you're working really hard, so how was your day? You're gonna grind next. Watch you play. Kings arch every side pay doka there. Seriously. Women could be dhoka dating. Not bad beats are the reason. Too much fun. Because jab hum to took a bad beat. Then it's okay. I have to love uh, missing people who are egoistic on a poker table. Them there. <laughs> the best of Jackal, that's true. Today is going to be a long, chilled out stream. If we want to make it to the final table, if we want to win the tournament, it's going to be a long one. Next. And. Very soon we will have a new mic. So if I'm cracking right now, okay. And if you can tell me your favorite stream, uh, Dr. Addy is here. So are you going to wear a lab coat? Very okay, soon. <laughs> have to like, um, talk to bro. Thank you. I need some duck to Uh, today. It's uh, audible. Check one, two. Check one, two. Okay. Uh, you, you, uh, and a little on the low side. Uh, Muscan, you got a hand? 
Oh, and this is taking a little battery. Um, oh, yes, you can hold this one, no. uh, I approve. Um, this will work, but it's really muddy noise. Muddy noise. No, they're just a cheap pair. Yeah, Airpods. Airpods. chips. No, beauty. No, we have to go back to the. One, two. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, just going to check it right here. Uh, guys, you're going to see here like two of this voice for a bit while I check this. Do I have approval for four dudes to fold? Nice. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so it's not cracking now with my voice, so come here and sit down. I want to open that hand. Oh, you're removing the. Yeah, oh, it's difficult. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Sign. I hope you guys can hear me pretty clear because when I also did my test right now, it was a little shaky, but I hope this works. The thing is, wired mics are better than Bluetooth mics, so our other option is a Bluetooth mic, and I don't think that will work out. Thank you, thank you, Alamki Devan. Yeah. 
we have a straight door here so got him i hope you can hear me now i hope everyone who is pointing out the audio issue can hear me and this is gonna be a fold could i just check also but i guess now we get paid ace king suited 32 bigs it's gonna be <gasps> perfect oh life is easier so just uh and let's see what hush is gonna do I have to give points every time I also win. Whenever I'm happy. Please tell my partner in crime I'm coming to his lovely home, Goa, next week. That means you're going to be with me also. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to Izumi for dinner. Yay, we're going for this uh, yummy Japanese dinner tomorrow. And we'll take you also when you come, Gotham. Actually, we should do now. We should have like a. We will play. We'll all meet up and play a game. And then whoever loses has to do funny things on the next poker stream. Yeah. And we already uh, were supposed to wear like colored hair wigs and stuff. But yeah, we're going to probably. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Addy lost his time bank because of the mic issue. We are sorry. Oh. Bye, baby. You have my lucky charm. Hi. <laughs> Smells so good. This smells so nice. Usually dogs are sniffing and I'm like, hi. What should we do in this hand? Ace four is a fold, no? <laughs> He's giving that. Hi, hello. <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you. And that was Addy's beautiful wifey. <laughs> We're not going to trouble her. And uh, I'm going to share her podcast also with you guys. One second. If you... Wait. I'm going to put it in the chat. Uh, wait. I'm going to do it. Let's share it. So, Geeti and Anika, they both are from The Citizen, okay? Um, this publishing online digital um, platform and they've started their own podcast. So, let me just quickly share that in the link right now. And you guys can go and show some love to her. <laughs> I'm gonna share uh, with your permission your link <laughs> wait
Jessica Poker. Jessica was the prefect in her class. Wow. I I I was such a nice studious kid till eleventh, and then so till eleventh I used to obviously hate school, hate life, and then when I reached eleventh I was like, whoa. <laughs> this is fun <laughs> my school was crazy <laughs> and i was in modern school barakamba road so uh and can i tell you something my prefects and all these head girls and all are now my best friend <laughs> that time they were always after my life and and there were these set of mean girls also who used to like you know always bully me and one of them is a friend of mine now and now i bully her so <laughs> I swear Adi we had like proper mean girls like you know there was this like a water thing where you go and have water I have I'm having water and they come and they take off my ponytail, my rubber band, and my hair just <laughs> open my ponytail. <laughs> they really mean girls, bro. <laughs> I was like, what? And then they're just saying something nasty like this and then walking off. <laughs> this is our school, okay? <laughs> yeah. Adi, uh, so basically, I want to, I've already copied this, but I'm not able to paste it here. Here you go. Thank you. Well, oh, we're on break. Look. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your break, guys. Shock, एक बड़ी चीज है, पर उससे भी बड़ी चीज है skill, जो इसी shock को बड़ा करके दुनिया के सामने ले आए. Confidence, critical thinking, और spotlight में आके decision making. ये skills सिर्फ entrepreneurs को ही नहीं, poker players को भी define करती हैं. Learn with me कुछ ऐसी skills on poker tank with poker bazi. Watch this space for more action. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. A sport is a sport. What a man can do, a woman can do better. Behind every successful woman is the woman herself. She came. She played. She conquered. The Honorable President of India presents the Woman Achievers Award for Poker to Muskan Sethi. Presenting India's poker queen, Muskan Sethi, as Poker Bazi Team Pro, breaking the biggest poker myth that poker is a man's game. Starting with home games, Muskan knew that poker came to her naturally. She was surprised that not many women in India thought they could make a name for themselves playing poker, and she decided to change that. She worked hard at her games and soon was forced to reckon with on the poker fields. Her efforts got recognition when the Honorable President of India presented her with the Woman Achievers Award for Poker, the only player in India to have received it. And she hasn't looked back since. Crushing poker games, both live and online, is what she does daily now. But there is more to Muskan than just being a brilliant poker player. She is a travel enthusiast who loves traveling and poker gives her ample opportunity to do so. She is a pet lover and has developed an app, Doggy Do, that helps dog owners come together to address various pet related issues and give a forever home to dogs looking for a loving family. Muskan is a wonderful, passionate person. Her long association with poker is because of her love for the sport. She has represented India at some of the biggest levels globally. Uh, one has to appreciate her efforts in making poker content on her own. Uh, we are very proud to welcome her as Poker Bazi Team Pro. Hi. 
This is Muskan Sethi and I'm very excited to be part of India's biggest poker platform, Poker Bazi, as their team pro. At a very young age, I was attracted to strategic games. I started watching poker with my father on TV. Then after many years, when I met the love of my life, who is today my life partner, he showed me some videos where I found the greatest idols of poker. To name a few players like Phil Ivey, Liv Buri, these were the players I saw and I thought to myself that, you know, uh, why not me? After a few years of that, I qualified for a tournament that was called Shark Cage. That put me on TV for $1 million to play versus the biggest pros. And ever since then, poker has been my passion and it's something that is going to be in my life throughout. My dad was the reason I found poker and my mom has always been my hero. My whole family has supported me throughout this journey and I'm really thankful to them. I'm happy about how Poker Bazi is constantly changing the face of poker in India, getting its social acceptability and respect. They've broken all shackles and they're bringing so much value to the table for all poker enthusiasts that I can't help but say that they are the very best in India. I look forward to seeing all of you on Pokabazi tables and passing on this knowledge of this strategic, fun and exciting game. So see you there. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. He's been a sports enthusiast since he was a kid. Games changed when he grew up but his passionate excelling in whatever he did remained the same. And that's when poker chose him. Since then, he has won almost all the major poker tournaments in India. Today, he is the most sought after poker coach in India. Not just that, he is also a poker commentator and has anchored many poker events across India. He is Abhishek Goindi. Now, who would have thought that mere boredom at a friend's sleepover would result in India being gifted with a great poker player? Starting at the young age... Check, check, check. One, two, three. Sorry for boring you with my films. <laughs> but we made them with so much love and effort. And I, and I love Goindy's more than mine. It's really cool. Yeah. Let me show you both the tables. If possible. Yeah, two tables. Even the other break is about to get over. And uh, how do you deal with limpers and loose collars? Depends, really, really depends, right? You have to adapt to them. And uh, it really will boil down to stack sizes, positions, and um, also the stage of the tournament um, and their range. So limpers usually, they usually have a capped range. Capped, okay, so uh, linear ranges or like, when when we say that someone has a very thin range or when we talk when we say linear that means that they only have their best hands when we say condensed or capped range we mean that they cannot have their good hands in that range their range is very capped which consists it's condensed it consists of a lot of average hands linear consists of a lot of um, uh, hand ratios that has higher nut ratios, right? And a wide range or a polarized, no, let's talk about polarized range now. Polarized ranges, either they have it or they don't. So there now you would also, you know, uh, loose collars are those kind of collars. When they actually, they bet also, they are usually extremely extremely loose they're extremely polarized is the right correct word for them they either have it or they don't so this is something you once you've identified then you are going to play versus that 
And what you could also do with limpers is probably three bed a lot more if they are too passive. You have to understand their fold to three bed percentage. How, how much are they folding when you're three bedding? If they are continuing a lot more, then we will do that with mostly our top of our range. And if they are continuing with all, their whole range and they, this is how they play, then we have to be a little conscious because then we can't leak and bleed so much. We can't dance to their tunes. That's something that we are going to hold our own and tackle in that manner. Okay. Um, Murti, thank you. Says good luck. Animesh, thank you so much. Uh, and I already said thank you to Subu to Subu, <laughs> Sumi, uh, Gagan Nagpal, Wallet Money. <laughs> Achha, aapne wallet money dekh liya. Abhi, thode se months mein check karte hain. <laughs> Wahan pe ek zero aage lagega ya <laughs> ek one lagega aage. <laughs> Let's see. Um, and yeah, thank you Aces on Fire. Thank you for the audio test. This is gonna be a clear fold, obviously. Um, because see, this guy's already opened three X and he's gotten now his range has to be really, really, um, you know, you can narrow down his range and look at the sizing. It's very alarming. His sizing. <laughs> wow. I did not expect that. He just had a 10 over there. I felt like he misclicked and then just went for it. Wow. Doesn't look like anymore. Nice. And you can see his VPIP now. Let's see his stats. 37%. Yeah, they're quite uh, on a loose side. Like we say around 25% is a very GTO. Uh, now see that this is one example of limping. So if I, if I want to do something i'm gonna uh three exit here if there was one more caller and if he had like a legit hand then we can add one more big blind to this and we are going to add one big blind at, like for each player that is involved in the pot apart from just that one opener so if there were two players i would have made it 5x instead of just 3x this is 3x if there were two players i'll make it 4x so that is something you can deal with uh thank you prashant um real school learning love you too aryan thank you aryan kundan thank you thank you thank you so much aryan my love for the poker community is mutual this is supposed to be okay it's just gonna bet 33 percent because i'm not too happy with the dealer range and then also the you got a and this is the guy who had limped earlier so and let's see his stats well, it looks very decent to me uh marathi malika i'm from goa i'm also goa goan only okay this is that crazy guy oh even though we are good here but i just hate the uh, odds that i'm getting over here and um, i am just gonna even if this was free chips i'm gonna take my chances of holding because in the button over there he can have a lot more nut ratios after calling my three bed pre not necessarily otherwise pre-flop but once i've three bet this player and he calls oh my god i can't even put him on ace queen or something this is gonna be i'm gonna make a side fold here very tough fold for me personally but yeah that's what you're supposed to be doing i guess thank you thank you some points for you guys all right, all right. Rohit Kumar I enjoy this movie 
I inspire with you. Thank you. So how's your 1000x series going? Have you guys been playing regularly? And if yes, what all have you played? Which tournament did you run deep in? Last Sunday, I bubbled everything. <sighs> Painful. Um, yeah. Hmm, I can totally give up this hand. And over here, instead of just auto-folding, I'll fold when my turn comes. But just sometimes when I'm playing another hand, I could do that. But don't always auto-fold. Because, you know, when we are playing live, we are sitting in front of each other. We know what we are doing. Live, online, even something like this is inf information. And especially when you're playing versus blinds, and the button opens and you insta insta fold you know they're always going to assume in their head that my blinds are very weak they don't defend too much you know they auto fold things like that they they are going to open their hundred percent of their range from the button then for you it's going to be so difficult to you know then adjust so that's why it's better to uh, you know not have this uh, image on your table because, you know, everything in poker players are always noticing these things. They, are, they don't notice, they don't buy, like, say, if I try to trick you with my timing tell, they won't buy into that because they understand, like, you could be, you know, you're, yeah, when you're playing online, we could be doing so many things. I could I could maybe go and open the door right now. Someone's at the door. I, I have something important to do. So I could generally be taking time or I could generally, I could genuinely be tanking. So they don't buy in for that oh Siddharth Mishra is in the house thank you Sid see Sid is uh, Sid is giving a compliment to the film we made and he was the director of that film he made it with a lot of love and to be uh, you know in his presence and the uh, um, every director is special you know they they are there for a reason they, they are given that position because they can understand just so many things and obviously you can this is something me and Goindi both have we have this new found respect for actors and I always did but I did not know that how much I thought that they enjoy and fly through uh, when they do things right so I love poker I enjoy poker so much and imagine when you're shooting for poker um, it should be fun right and it is it is it is a lot of fun but still it is uh, something you have to do with your full heart and your full everything so it takes a lot of effort it takes you know your own research your own um, um, mindset also to be you know able to deliver that for you guys so that's what play some relaxed deep chill mix to go with goa vibe and said you did a great job Oh, copyright is an issue. Uh, Adi, but we'll change the music in the next break for you. I wish we could play Bob Marley. I wish we could actually play like some... Or we could play like... You know the, the song I was telling you that played on my Spotify when I was driving? Oh my god. I don't listen to psychedelic music. But, you know, there was this one... So I discovered this one song through... This one track I heard in last avatar and then this avatar also I heard that track. And then when I downloaded it, it was actually a psychedelic track. So just the beginning of it's some it's got a wait, let me see if I can share it with you guys. Sid, do you think we can stream from the beach? Will the internet support us on the beach? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
that'll be really awesome and i've done that i swear i've done that with my ipad i've gone with this the ipad that has sim in it because i definitely i get 4g on the beach so i've actually gone and i've played a session yeah on a boat let's do it oh, those guys have done it no in the past i'm gonna call this once because we have a uh, straight drawers and now we have a flush draw and we had a back door on the flop and now we have a straight draw flush draw i guess i'm gonna check race oh the opportunity <laughs> just give up only now Hmm. Maybe we should have let the turn. Uh, but then he's such a strong hand, and I was I was very convinced that he's gonna bet the turn. Um, there's no harm in leading the turn there actually for us, especially because when the draws are out, right? Probably we can give them a feeling that we are scared of the draws. But then in the big blind. Real school learning. My poker vault is equal to zero. What do I do? Uh, you could play free roll tournaments. And you could play like really, really small buy in tournaments. I'm telling you, you underestimate these schedules. You There's so much out there. And I was actually thinking that day that I want to, I miss uh, sit and goes. I want to practice sit and goes so that I can practice, I can put in a lot of volume in sit and goes. So then I realized that a lot of tournaments on Poker Bazi, which are the smaller buy-ins and that run daily, are actually like a sit and go only. If you can uh, adjust yourself and tell yourself okay i just have one buy in yes it does make a difference where other people can still buy in but then you can put a limit you know to yourself and uh, play maybe even smaller and just start like that and make sure you're playing daily every day uh, putting in so much volume create an excel sheet and just write it down i have a question for you can i okay please ask <laughs> Adi is like, what? Yeah, what question do you have? This question is going to come. And if it's a tough question, then Adi is going to answer it. <laughs> Shotgun. Oh, I have a, my Goa beach hat also. Wait, I'm just going to wear that. I'm not supposed to defend this because it's the gap is so wide between the 6 and the 10. And if the button had opened, maybe then. Yes, but not then. Oh my God, I'm getting Dhanya Menon's message. All poker things poker. Okay, so is it uh, suited or off suit? What is it? Your A7. Because obviously 10s have more equity, right? Pre-flop. But what kind of flop? Even on a, a random flop, I guess. Now I'm going to get my poker hat. Oh, go ahead in like a few minutes. And just chill. All things poker and gaming channel. I want to uh, suggest Poker School. 
Pokabazi school for you. One second. Let me see if we can get it, get it here. Because I want you to check out all the videos and all these questions. I mean, this is something you can get so easily all these pre-flop charts i mean i could be googling it for in a second to uh you know tell you anything that you ask me there's nothing that i can't you know uh, google and tell you which means that there's nothing you cannot google and find out and definitely if you want to understand any strategy in depth that is something that you can always reach out and talk to players about um and Siddharth Mishra says I'll share royalty free music library with Addy and yes you can stream off the beach just need to get a bonding device I'll share the deets with Addy Woo! thank you thank you <laughs> sorted so Sid can you recommend some nice go and restaurants to the chat because I think a lot of us are coming to Goa. I'm already here and I plan to be here even though I have a lot of work in Delhi, which I will keep doing, but I want to be in Goa only. I cannot stand the pollution uh, in any other city. Now I go anywhere else because Goa has spoiled me so much. I check the air quality and I say I'm out of here. So, and I can, how, how much can I save myself? And imagine when I have kids in the future, how paranoid I'm going to be about them <laughs> being in pollution um, and I am always arguing with everyone around me uh, with solutions for Delhi pollution so we always say that and then whenever I come up with a solution then you know I, I obviously tell them I challenge them to um, you know come up with critics and loopholes in that <laughs> it's, it's a, I've heard, I've so and lately I've been convinced that we can't fix it so just see what happened here we opened 2x and uh, cut off so uh, hijack flats cut off makes it three bigs which just one big line on top um, I'm gonna pot control and just call this instead of raising and also we are multi-way and the only reason we've opened this hand is because even though this uh, it's a suited ace of course it has a lot of nut ratios like i said it has flush draws so nut ratios are what kind of nuts will this uh, combination give you same you have bluff ratios so when i say that you know when somebody bets and we we, we are thinking whether we want to call or not we have to consider their bluff ratios that do they have enough bluff bluffs in their uh, range there or not so that is something you consider. Um, so to know to you, so you, so when you take out these ratios, it's very simple. You write down all the hands that they can make. They can make two pairs. They can make top pair aces with a hand like with the ace will definitely make the top pair. But it will not have a top kicker but it can make top pair and it will make two pairs oh man anyway we are going with it because we can't afford to be checked and secondly um yeah i just do not let's not speak too soon but yeah yeah if he's thinking if he's taking more than three four seconds then obviously we are good Tanya, men and ma'am, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yay! So she is uh, India's first female cybercrime investigator. And there's going to be a movie coming out on her as well. And I had the chance to have a conversation with her. I flew down specially to Kochi and met her. We were going to meet for some um, event which was organized by the ministry of child and women development and after the award basically they th they call us their ambassadors so we are like their ministry's ambassadors and we are called uh, upon for a lot of events and uh, for example i was invited to attend nari shakti awards i'm invited to attend a lot of big award 
ceremonies and uh, so they called us a, a few of us down and then then i was um pretty sure that i'm going to do this oh my god it's you have a glitch in your software i'm pretty sure the guy who's in the chat right now and hi muti um hello again muti and all things boka that was you made me give you odds for something such a question huh snotty boy you are okay this i'm just going to fold such a chilled out nice no worries i know you had tens and um, there is some software glitch i'm going to i have to first confirm uh, what what is the problem with on your end because a lot of times there are people who are just trolling but i know you're not trolling so i'm going to get in touch with you later if you are not trolling i will help you out and that's the best policy and i wanted to really say something so i'm a uh, little update on my startup so basically um, bugs they are going to be like just like in poker there's variants and then eventually you'll hate variants and then you'll be told that it's your best friend you have to love it similarly bugs are your best friend <laughs> in, in any tech company and bugs will always come especially uh, when you fix something something else is supposed to get spoiled that's what my developers have told me so if they are fooling me that's what it is guys uh, we have a decision here again we are pocket nines and i'm going to fold this i'll tell you why again we are flipping against this person he could even have ace 10 ace jack or he maybe he has pocket eights right now but he's going to have um, you know smaller pocket pairs very less um, uh, like he's not going to have them too often there and he's actually like been too crazy man i think i want to i'm so tempted to call but we're going to fold because it's 50 big blinds if it was um say under 20 then we could have gone ahead with this hand and we would have done this play but here we're going to fold this and this is really good for us if he's doing this to us more often very soon i'm going to have it and i'm just going to press call he's making life easy for me casa mia in vagato okay pinks in san golda cocktails at felix beach tataki and okay me cools i have not been to at panchim and they're all good places to eat tataki yes um mahe in anjuna is also really good uh, i'll tell you what i like there i love their aubergine and sour cream uh, dip it's really yum uh, and then their mahe mahe fish is really good and i I really have been going because I stay in Candlem. I've been going to uh, Taj Agwada a lot, and Taj Agwada has this new Italian restaurant, Paper Moon, and they have a restaurant called Morisco by the beach. I think by the beach, or maybe just Morisco, and it's uh, it does really good, just seafood uh, barbecue. So you cannot, you're not gonna get like. normal food there but just barbecue seafood and thalis and stuff thalis oh, um 
I'm also missing the replayer, so I think they're going to work on it. There are a lot of challenges that you have as a coder, and I would like to sit down with the Pokabazi coder one day with all these small, small requests and then see his face <laughs> when I make these requests. <laughs> He'd say, okay, so you know how um, coders, they list issues like P1, P2, P3, like priority one, priority two, priority three. And they always have an endless list of priorities and things to complete. So a lot of issues do not come in P1. And that's when you're shunned away. And they shouldn't be because they will then hinder P1 issues, right? So yeah, that's the scene. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Thank you so much. I hope your wishes are going to work and I'm going to win it because last night I came seventh. So tonight I want to come first. Enough is enough. I know, I know. Oh, Addy is also grinding. Just. Oh, don't worry, 13 bigs is plenty. I am so comfortable at 13 bigs. I feel home. You know, just on the edge. <laughs> You'll be in or out. <laughs> Anything can happen. And Vohi Hyota hai life. Staying on the edge. And what else? How's life been, Adi? Have you been... No, uh, you haven't been... Oh, actually, you had a really good time on New Year's. You're the one who partied. I didn't party. Oh, I went to a really nice restaurant called Suzy. So you can probably add Suzy to that list of Goa restaurants. Um, they take your booking in advance and they make you fill out a form one day before. So you've actually already like placed your order one one day before. And they procure and they, they make that food for you fresh just on that day just for you so if you want to eat extra you have to pay for an extra person and order an extra portion in advance and it's beautiful and they start with an amber bush and they basically with like a tasting platter and then the first course second course third course and like that they're like endless courses of meal meals that you can have over there and oh my god like some of the dishes are so good there and it's not expensive very reasonable the one thing about goa food is very um it's right now the top all the best chefs from delhi bombay have just somehow come to go and open their restaurants they are overflowing restaurants are overflowing uh in goa right now if you see there are so many good spots and it's so competitive and it's uh because of that reason it's really affordable and but one thing that i find uh very expensive in goa is i think the commute um, if you don't have if you don't rent your own car or if you do not have um, you know a cab a cab guy who you know and you know things like that it can get very expensive to just getting dropped here and there you know so don't make that rookie mistake of um, losing your funds in just that commute thing make sure you can rent a car in advance or hire a scooty or do something and you know commute better that is one thing and hotel price is obviously very overpriced around right now but it's it's amazing otherwise one of my very close friend came from delhi yesterday and she's so serious about shifting to goa she's shifting to goa she's applying for a job here yeah and she's saying that this is me and i can't believe like it took me so many years to realize like she was on that sun she was on the sunset with me last night on the beach and she's like um i want to live here forever and she's actually canceled her flights so she's staying back she's renting a house <laughs> this month can you imagine 
No worries, all poker things and gaming. And tell me what other games you play apart from poker. Since you say poker and gaming, so I would like to know. And yeah, so that tweet I was saying, if I could list three things, three games, three things in life that would keep your brain young forever, like how we try to keep ourselves young forever, which I don't know might be possible in the future like the way things are going there'll be like one injection you get and like that's it you'll stop aging <laughs> i mean you remember that's what they showed i know these movies lately but to keep your brain young forever it's actually possible and you can do that by number 1 poker number 2 chess number 3 gaming so if you have these things with you all your life you will st- um you will be more cognizant uh no i think you'll be definitely be cognizant but you'll also be alert and there's a lot of uh, research that that has gone down on the nervous system that proves that if you are playing strategic games all your life you uh ha- you are not going to get there are a lot of diseases also that they have listed that you will not get these Love from Kolkata. Thank you, thank you. Ami to mo bhalo bache. I love Kolkata sweets. It's so yummy. And and I love the I I love the barge the barge thing there. We went for a wedding and then yeah, and then yeah the dogs are very cute in Kolkata. very cute there's this one special breed that is only found in calcutta and it's a um, it's basically it's a pom but it's a it's a mix of something and it's a brown pom fey fey small he's like they're so cute and i think i've seen most of them from uh, calcutta i think they were there they were bred there and there's such cute puppies even on goa streets i keep seeing and that this is what i'm going to solve all these problems where you can you know report all these issues and connect um but um yeah they are like really cute doggies in goa as well and even the beach dogs are very sweet and i also got my dogs from delhi especially for this trip they came in the train I was also about to come with them on the train but their caretaker is very close to them and he said that I want to be with them in the cabin and we were only getting one cabin so I said okay fine and then he said that why don't you fly and I want to take one of my uh, person with me so I said okay cool then you can have a good time so then <laughs> he went he came and then he stayed in goa for a few days he enjoyed and then went back and then my dogs are here and they are having a blast but i'm so scared to take my uh, female puppy to the beach um i'm just scared cuz i don't like to carry like all those big big sticks and go on the beach <laughs> you know i'm i'm all friends with all the stray dogs on the beach there uh, this is actually a very bad turn for us I hate what's happening here but I'm just going to go with it now. Yeah, fair enough. Uh 52 bigs in the big one. And here we've lost I guess. I've got just 43 bigs in this one. I'm not sure what's the average. But a yeah, long time to go. Yeah, things get uh, warmed up a little later. <laughs> Yeah. But tomorrow morning I I wanted to do this tonight today but we were going to stream so I was here. And listen now if Gotham is watching this stream I would like to thank Gotham for waking me up. So I basically I don't know what I did to my alarm. I it would didn't even snooze nothing. I just ignored it and I kept sleeping. I took a nap because I was playing last night till 5 and then I woke up and I had like things to do in the morning and my puppy jumps on me in the morning. So I I just don't get sleep. Um Goa used to be very relaxing for me but my puppies have made it a little different. Uh, <laughs> uh but I'm still I'm still very relaxed. Uh so 
it's like that and then i was taking a nap and i basically was going to miss this stream if i kept sleeping because adi's house is 50 minutes from my house but it's a beautiful drive and pata hai i'm going to start crying if i talk about goa too much cuz i want to live here forever and i just can't delhi keeps calling me back and i'm convincing my brother also to you know shift to goa cuz my brother is alone then uh, new friends my sister is also there but she's with her kids and you know so my brother is alone in delhi and i keep telling him please please shift to goa but i don't think he likes goa he loves the hills he's like a cold baby he likes hills and even my husband likes cold i like exotic warm weathers and everyone else around me loves cold But yeah, if I'm ever missing, I'm on a beach. <laughs> Probably on an island, so no one can find me. But there should be Wi-Fi, so I can play poker online. And yeah, and I wish I can be a team pro for Bazi from there also for poker Bazi, and then call you guys down for poker tournaments. I can have my own country. Listen, I saw that day. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your own rules if you buy an island. You know that. You can register. You can okay. So we can uh, like get it like officially on paper as a country. Have its own like ministers. <laughs> Adi, are you serious? Okay, so I think I should. We should convince all the poker sites of India to get together, put in the money, and buy this island. <laughs> So, if there are any property dealers in the chat, please look into this opportunity. We want a poker island near India, or in India, or a land, and we want to make it our own country, poker country. And we'll have our own elections also, and we will have our own holidays. <laughs> you know we'll celebrate Doyle Brunson's birthday as a national holiday we'll have independence day we'll have independence from say whoever <laughs> we'll do fun things mondays will be officially the sunday of that island and uh, and it's going to uh, everyone everything will operate after noon <laughs> no but <laughs> Okay, massage. I do think massage parlors have to operate twenty four seven. Can you imagine, like, fly down the, or just get them on the boat, the best mind coaches <laughs> in the world, and leave them on that island for us. <clears throat> Love from Uttarakhand. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's ten o'clock, guys. I think it's time for you to go and watch. Uh, don't don't go from the stream. Don't leave us. But you can put uh, Shark Tank on the side and take pictures if you see the ad, Poker Bazi ad, and win win prizes. and there's no harm in doing all these things we should have fun we are the poker community and we 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 should take part in and, and imagine how can you imagine how my career started by actually believing one of these ads just one ad that said that do you have it in you to play for 1 million dollars um with pros on tv that i i will never forget this ad in my life and i was like yeah i do I, it was just one of those ads that i was just like Okay, why not, man? I'm going to do it. And then I and then also uh I always I always like even before that it was a habit of mine. I just believe, you know. I'm a believer. I believe in things. I don't doubt these small small things and I have fun. I was one of those kids who used to fill forms, you know. Uh you know those forms that <laughs> you will win a lucky do- uh, draw or you will win something. and or, but you know they were really shady forms huh they used to ask me what car my dad drives 
and what what TV you have in the house, how much money, pocket money you get. These kind of questions in school. I remember Harry Potter was so big when I was in school. So I remember going and watching Harry Potter films. And um, uh, after that, there were like a lot of like these competitions which used to happen. Yeah, and yeah, it was it was way big in school. But my first movie uh, that I saw was uh, uh, Dunstan Checks In. You remember that movie? Yeah, and you know, bless you. And they had a Hindi version of that movie called Ek B- uh, Bandar Hotel Ke Andar. I swear. So, uh, and then, um, yeah, that was, that was, I think, the first movie I um, saw in the hall when I was a kid. It was so old. But yeah, it, and then Spy Kids, and I don't know, then on, it goes on and on. Ron Erk is asking, how many dogs you got? Oh, how many dogs? I have, so, I have two dogs i had three dogs but i lost one baby so i've got two dogs with my brother coco and bruno uh with my husband i have two dogs uh elvis and phoebe two english bulldogs coco is a chihuahua and bruno is a gst uh he's very very affectionate coco is very very chalu um and days and naughty and uh, Elvis is very prim and proper gentleman. Uh, Phoebe is nowadays the love of my life. And I have a uh, indie. Um, his name is Lucky. And he's also in uh, my house. Um, and then I have some other adopted dogs, which you, you know, take care of here and there. And yeah, and I'm very close to my friends' dogs also. And then, you know, there are so many dogs in our community, colony, that you become close to. And then, yeah, it's... Dogs are so good for health. They are just amazing. And you know, one thing I uh, is so difficult about live tournaments, especially going to Vegas and, um, you know, those long vacations. I was like staying away from your dogs. I know it's funny. And I remember when I'd gone for my first tournament also, I'd seen one, this very big pro cry and write like love letters to his cat and <laughs> from the tournament. And then like next week, I'm seeing another big pro write about his dog. <laughs> like crying and saying like you know like uh, it's just really missing them and I used to laugh that you know I would give my life <laughs> to be here and these guys are missing their dogs over here in, th- in this stage but then it really happens Navneet my na- uh, username should have been baby shark back in the day but I'll tell you why it is the white swan because my mom used to call me uh white uh, so she never used to say like the white swan or swan. She used to call me Hans Pacha. So Hans means swan. And, and that's why. And I have a tattoo of swans, two swans. And it says, my parents, my pride. Over here. It's for my parents. And um, so if I am a swan, then even they are swans. So then that's why I, I made two swans here. And I put like uh, this thing. And then I put like nice this thing over here. So that's why it was the white swan. And you know why the white, why the color is specified? Because I saw that movie Dark Swan. Have you seen the black swan? Oh, uh, yeah. So then I was like, maybe the black swan means a bad thing. So then I, it's specifically the white swan. And I've heard that two swans are lucky. So uh, I made two on my hand and they're my mom and dad. And we are getting pocket aids a lot, huh? Thank you, Rahul. I need your wishes. Adi, you shifted on your... Oh, no. I thought you you're done playing. 
have seen you play since a long time and you are best ambassador of the game good luck have fun ride with bazi hope to meet and play with you soon thank you thank you so much i love love poker it's my life i'm so so passionate about it and it's not something i need to even say anymore because you know a lot of people are passionate about it uh they're not vocal about it and i know that a lot of players in india respect poker as much as you know some of us who have the platform do and um, it's time for them also to you know just speak up about for the game if you care if you care about how it's perceived if it doesn't matter to you it matters to me because i feel that this will set the you know uh, the thing for the upcoming female poker players so it's very important for me to work hard and do something for them so it matters that i need to give it back give something back to the game but if it doesn't matter to you then it's fine and you can still be passionate about something but yeah if you care you should really get out there and support the game because uh people need need awareness people need to understand and and half of the people who sit there and make judgments about poker have never played poker in, in their life before i'm just going to check this um i'm going to give you points uh 70 people are watching and you know there was one bazi girl song i used to love poker bazi song and boss. boss what was it like take meri bazi something like that we can play that <laughs> i actually watched mtv hustle 2.0 I don't usually watch like all these uh, reality shows and all but I watched it because I was getting a lot of notifications on and like um, all these things and the Indian rap scene is so cool some really good artists I just check the flop the points yeah tell them to tell them we're going to reset the that you just said that we're going to reset the points every 20th of every month use your points guys what can they do with the points nice listen on the 20th they're going to reset the points here take some more points and just go Ronak I ha I got three puppies myself dog lovers so I do disturb Oh no you're not disturbing me I love dogs and and come on they're family All animals are you know there's so many cows on the streets here in Goa you you i feel so bad sometimes i feel like stopping the car and helping out or you know sometimes like baby cows are there and the calf is there the and then the mother is there and then it's just uh, oh we just flopped the nuts and then you know people are driving so people are careful it's not that people are like mean but what's happening is basically people own these cows and they just leave them and they say that you know okay eat and we'll we'll pick them up in a bit and those cows get lost on the streets cows puppies and delhi mein to you are driving now so it's impossible that you'll stop the car or you'll do something you can a lot of places i've done it but a lot of places you can't you're just driving off so here in goa you get to see it very closely um going to get oh i was hoping i'm going to get a call by nice there so what what breeds do you have what three puppies do you have i would like to know and then i would tell you if i know anything about the breed and then you tell me if i was correct
Thank you, Navneet. Oh, <laughs> Navneet is saying, I was trying to appreciate your poker skills. Thank you, thank you. See, just got to play calm and compose. Just got to chill right now. They need another double up soon. I'm going to open the chat. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Shouldn't have opened the chat. I look at it. It's fine. These flops are usually they make a big blind life very easy. They can just fold there. I'm gonna open. I really like this combination, and and we have this stack to do things right now, you know. So we can. Oh. So I've actually already made up my mind. I'm going to fold here. Um, we need, yeah. We need much more equity uh, to call above 10 big blinds. And especially we were not closing the action. I just folded that, open folded that. Oh, there's break. Hey. Okay, guys. See you in a break. Uh, in a uh, in a bit. So till then, you watch some go in deep films. <laughs> Shock. Ek badi cheese hai, but usse bhi badi cheese hai skill. Jo isi. A sport is a sport. What a man can. He's been a sports enthusiast since he was a kid. Games changed when he grew up. But his passionate excelling in whatever he did remained the same. And that's when poker chose him. Since then, he has won almost all the major poker tournaments in India. Today, he is the most sought after poker coach in India. Not just that, he is also a poker commentator and has anchored many poker events across India. He is Abhishek Goindi. Now, who would have thought that mere boredom at a friend's sleepover would result in India being gifted with a great poker player? Starting at the young age, Abhishek Goindi has won umpteen number of poker tournaments and has a very impressive win rate on the fields. His love for poker goes beyond the personal achievements and that's the reason why he decided to pass on all the knowledge he gained over the years to all the poker enthusiasts in India. Abhishek Goindi is a very interesting personality and a creative guy. He's been a sportsman all his life and uh, someone known to have a daily active lifestyle. With that, he has had consistent good results in poker over the last decade. I feel he's a great personality to represent the brand and promote the sport. We welcome him on board as Pokerbazi Team Pro. Abhishek Goindi as Pokerbazi Team Pro is amazing. It just sounds so good even when I say it. Goindi has uh, of late become one of my close friends, a person I respect and look up to. When I saw him play and you know just how good he is as a human being for me, it was great inspiration, great influence because I knew that that in the future when I do take up the game, I want to learn the game from him. I know Goindi since one and a half year and uh, he's been my coach ever since. The journey since then has been so exponential and it's been so amazing and he's just an amazing person, amazing poker player. His mindset is like we, we relate off the felts as well. I went up to and asked him whether you know I can join the boot camp and if he can coach me because he was someone I wanted to get coached by. I think uh, for me it was like the best decision I took in my poker career, like wanting to get coached by him. You want someone who has that extra, that energy, that vibe, you know, that, that attracts you to them rather than just being a good poker player. Goindi takes all these boxes. Even though I'm like relatively new in this industry, I mean I don't see anyone else better fitted to represent Poker Bazi and I wish him all the best. I wish him luck with the uh, Poker Bazi. Yeah, I wish Abhishek Goindi the best for his future with Poker Bazi. Apart from what he was already doing, I think now 
a lot more is going to be you know uh, coming out super excited before heading to las vegas for his first world series of poker he played a lot of significant poker tournaments across asia such as the asian poker tour the asia pacific poker tour and the world poker tour want to know more about him well let's hear from the man himself Really thrilled and excited to be a part of Pokerbazi's Team Pro. I've been playing on their website since day one, I guess. And the fact that they've gained so much reputation and trust in such a short notice proves that when you do things right, there's no stopping you. I'm excited to teach you guys the trick of the trade. See you guys on the felt soon. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. It takes a day to learn poker, but a lifetime to master. As a coach and student of the game, I believe it's better to burn out than fade away. I'm all in. Poker, like life, has an element of risk. It should not be feared. It should be faced and conquered. I call. Poker Bazi proudly presents the debonair Abhishek Goindi. The Dame Muskan City as Poker Bazi Team Pros Shuffle Up and Deal. You know when your opponent goes all in like that, and you have a straight and a flush draw, and you make the call. You do that not because you're feeling lucky. You do it because you take a calculated risk. You know what the upside is. You've calculated the outs as well. Similarly, in business, entrepreneurs take calculated risks every single time whenever they see a great upside. You know, like poker minds are like business minds. I can give you a lot of such insights, but for that, you need to stay tuned into Poker Bazi's Poker Tank. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. New Year brings in so much cheer, positivity, along with so many promises that we make to ourselves. You know, as poker players, I think we know best about this, right? You know what the funny part is? My dad always wanted me to go to B school and learn all these things: patience, perseverance, great fund management, bankroll management, same thing. And uh, he was really disappointed when I told him I was not going to go to B school and that I was going all in in poker. <laughs> and uh, today, after coaching for so many years. When I see my BE school applicants coming in and they want to get coached by me, the first thing I do is I send them out to my dad, and I'm like, "Hey, dad, guess who's come? Guess which college he's from? He's from your college, you know." <laughs> and uh, he has this little grin on his face. But fast forward to today, my dad's super, super happy and proud about the fact that uh, I've been doing this. Wow! See, that's what really matters. And no wonder there are more than 30 lakh players on Poker Bazi. I'm counting. It's not going to stop there. We're just starting. We're just beginning. And uh, we both owe so much of our lives to this game. That's right. When I won the first ladies' award from the president of India, that was an example of that nothing in life can stop you. That's another. One minute, guys. Can I do it like this? Can I do it like this? I'm sure they can hear me. So I'm wearing my Goa hat for some uh, Goa vibes, and this is my favorite hat also. Actually, this in the sun I only get out with this and the sunscreen. And I have Queen C. What did I say? My Goa hat. <laughs> Do you play live poker too? Ronak is asking. Yes, of course. I eat poker. I sleep poker. I live poker. I breathe poker. What are you saying? 
Oh, sorry if I'm. Okay, now in this situation, I have to three bet because we are gonna protect our hand from some ace x's, king x's. Vikrant, hi Miss Muskan, we are on the same table. Are we? Oh, hi, are we? Okay, are we? Tell me what color should I tag you? <laughs> We know each other well as well. Good luck, good luck, good luck, Vikrant. Say hi to me on Insta. I'm pretty sure when I see your face and I will put your name to it and then I will know. Kabir Dhameja, what do we do with the Bazi coins, huh? I, I mean, I should just be jamming here, but I'm going to... So go to the store and you can redeem these coins. Simple as that. And Ronak, I have a golden retriever, a Lhasa Apso, and Shih Tzu. All are so cute. Shih Tzus are so cute, now. I'm just going to check this. I was getting a little naughty here, but... Golden retrievers are also really loving, and they are like lazy, and they are those cuddly, cuddly types. Lots of apps also, but they are lots, lots can be a bit. Um, I'm just gonna fold this because hmm. and if I play live next time I play live, I'm gonna wear this hat and play live. This is also something I've decided. Are you down, Adi? Please help me. You, I need at least someone to help me. So, can you also wear a... Done. Please wear a, um, a hat the day I'm wearing this, so that I'm not alone. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And yes, yes. I play live once again. Big cash, best. Konsa uh, app. Hey, huh? Saket, FF Gaming. What are you saying? Big cash, best. I don't know. You're confusing me. And RV, where are you from? If you're saying we know each other well, that means we play poker together. I love playing on poker bazi. I'll tell you why. Because of the emojis. It's just so much fun. Last night, the, the, the emojis were keeping me up. Let's go, let's go. Everyone in the chat, thank you so much for all the love. And yes, the new year has actually come with a lot of positivity. Naresh Kumar, nice hat, mademoiselle. Thank you, thank you. I love this hat. You can't see the color right now properly, but it's pink. And I've spoiled something. Okay, let it be. <laughs> Holding the mic also like this is the first for me, but it's fun. No, it's nice. I'm actually really enjoying streaming and we're gonna stream uh, a lot more often because even Addy's here and uh, yeah and you're gonna be uh, I'm actually we're gonna be planning a sit and go so I need to talk to you about this right now we're planning a sit and go I'm sure I've mentioned this in the past uh, one person I'm talking to the chat and you 
one uh, person we are going to take from the chat who's going to be a part of this sit and go so how and when we're going to do this this is something addy will tell you when he has planned it <laughs> because he has to do a lot of work for that to happen because you will not just be on the voice chat you will have your camera also on and your face is going to be there and all of us are going to be there so that is something we're going to work on and most likely i will start running some sort of a contest or something around it so we can do this this month addy is checking my voice right now okay thank you let's give some more points oh my my uh my phone tap it's gone off I'm actually going to fold this. And the reason we are going to fold that is we're going to see right now and actually it's not that it's we we can obviously adjust to Shubham now and understand that this player is very aggressive and is going to have a lot of uh, bluffs in their range but uh, generally uh, there are a lot of reverse odds. Let's have a Yeah, Oh no, no, that's fine. Yeah. Done, Naresh. We're going to take your suggestion. And we're going to ask you for any help also that we need. Oh, new table. Okay, no problem. So let's see today how how far we can go. Let's just come first today. Yaar. Today I'm just now you see this and I'm gonna get a double up. <laughs> it's okay. It's actually I'm not just raging. It's a genuine open from my side. Queen four is going in the muck. There's nothing that's happened in this in this tournament for me, but I have high hopes with this one. Oh, I don't like this flop. And why are you leading, sir? Fine. Now it's a complete fold. And also because, I mean. <laughs> no thank you no thank you and nothing yeah this joker of a hand i was like i'm gonna get a double up <laughs> me too vikrant i'm i'm a bit from delhi i was actually born in delhi but i am a go and that's what I want in life to be a Goan and Goa has come a long way from I remember I was just remembering the first time I'd come to Goa obviously I used to come as a kid a lot, like as a teenager I've come a couple of times I've come with my family a couple of times I've come so many d different different reasons I've come to Goa right but there was this one time I came for poker all alone remember I remember on the beach just sitting by myself, no friends in life, nothing, just all alone in that zone, just focused in poker, just, I remember that time I was just so happy to see the sunrise, the sunset, like was, I was just always indoors playing online all the time. So I remember that opportunity, I'll never forget and I stayed at Vivanta because I wanted to be close to the casinos so I could play um, a tournament and then yeah and before i played a poker tournament i actually played a tournament a flash tournament <laughs> you know that and i made day two and i made day two of it <laughs> i made day two of the flash tournament and basically the bubble was like you're the winner 
okay the, the after this day day 3 is like you're the winner okay it was a some sort of a funny shootout and this hana we should have even called pre but it's fine now now uh, we had uh, enough uh, set mining opportunities over there that also multi way so you can just fold this now it's fine lose little 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 and then you're going to take big 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 chunks from them Oh and this is back. Thank you Adi. I wanted to give some points to the chat. All right. All right. Thanks for grand. I'm going to check you on Insta. And this hat is also helping me with the light because the light is right on my face. <laughs> It's like the light is like the sun. Adi tell me how many planets do we have in 2023 Pardon Oh you okay fine no it's not back Pluto is officially out like Yeah again it got kicked out And now we have like eight planets So that's crazy Are you interested in any other planet? Okay, life is easy here. And this guy just has 14 bigs. So any which way I can just anyway call in case he's interested to rejam here. Um he understands and he knows what we are up to. So he's going to fold over there. And you know this is actually this is nothing. You call this a bad beat? I'll tell you a bad beat. Once I had pocket queens and I was playing a very big live tournament. Uh, how much money? Let me tell you. Around twenty lakhs for first, okay? And already thirty people are left out of like three hundred, four hundred people that played, and now thirty people are left. And everyone had very, very shallow uh, stacks, like mediocre stacks, and. um there was this one guy who was coming first and i was coming second so this guy who was coming first was in a hand with me where i re, re three bet him pre and he fee four bet me and then i decided to instead of five betting him just calling my queens pre flop and then on the flop um he just jammed okay so i obviously called because it was a 10 high flop i called rainbow and then he had uh, he's like oh you're good and he had 6 8 off so he had nothing on the flop nothing and then turn 6 river 6 and then <laughs> i was out of the tournament because he was the only guy who was covering me so then that uh, hand is something that you know uh, when people talk about bad beats i'm like you have that is a bad beat when you know you like catch someone's bluff and then yeah But then I was actually I was not pissed off or anything. I I took that I didn't take that as a bad beat. I took that as a hand history uh for how to play versus aggressive players. Uh because you know uh, if I would have jammed pre I'm pretty sure he could have gone he could have folded. I would have given him the opportunity to fold over there, but I did not. And because I played it the way I played it, he ended up putting in with the worse. I mean, I mean he was it, clearly uh got caught and whatever happened later obviously that is nothing anything that we cannot control is something that we poker players should not even uh, consider and we do not give any importance to okay um but yeah that double up would have been sweet <laughs> having said that <coughs> The stream would have gone longer and longer. We would have again made the FT again. We would have. Ma- I did some really, really funny stuff yesterday. That's because I was defending with aces, and then acting all tricky. So it was getting, you know. Now it's check raising. Hi, Ramat. Ramat Singh Balia. Thank you so much. Good luck to you as well. I hope you're grinding. I hope you're playing poker.
idea I have not done anything that's worth clipping yeah that's good it's good news now Bayern, uh, I'll have to I'll have to increase the bind because we bought into one more tournament over here. I will let you know. This is that Shubham guy, so we're just gonna like act all submissive, just limp, and that's it. I just feel like I should have just called that pocket fours. Pocket threes. No, pocket sixes versus him also. Thank you, thank you. Wait, how do I send it? We could have just rebought. Now, next time we know, like, against this player, you know. And then, it's not that he did anything wrong here. He did the... I mean, you're, sometimes you're supposed to apply pressure. And now over here, we have 17 bigs. And we have aces. And I'm just going to open this because if we just jam here, then everyone's going to fold. And now, see, Pandit three jams. Pandit G doesn't know. If you're not going to slow roll, or oh, genuinely he had kings. Okay, now, now there's no, not even a chance of getting a bad beat. So, yay! So sweet. Says nice hand. Thank you, thank you. And we're going to open ace jack as well now. And even this hand, I'm really tempted to, but I'm now going to fold. And I'll tell you why. Because UTG is opening 3x over here. And then we have all of these early positions getting in. If we have to get involved in this hand, it's really important that we 3-bet or just fold. Thirty percent is fine because what would we do if we genuinely had ace queen here? We would bet thirty-three percent, right? So that's how you do versus especially the blinds, because they anyway don't have much to defend with. And if you start betting really big on such boards, especially on a queen high board, then are we gonna miss out on a lot of uh, values with second pens and stuff that they want to continue. Also, there is a misconception that you should defend a lot in the big line. Um, that is not true. It's actually... Okay. So, button is the position where you make most of your money. Over here, we have a flash draw. Just gonna flat. And now we have a top by flash draw as well. So... I don't see a reason why we're gonna check things. Okay, cool. So now we just can just bet for value. Yeah, they were just uh, anyway uh, continuing with whatever their range in the cutoff there. So we make most of our money on the button. This position is actually like thousands and thousands and millions and millions of hands prove that our most money making position in poker is dealer button. And the most that we lose is the big blind, actually. Because, uh, obviously, whenever you're in the blinds, you're losing money, right? Because you're going to be paying the blinds. And also, when we defend, we are always defending a lot in that position. And then a lot of hands that you would see, a lot of the boards are not going to be in your favor unless they are low boards. And even if they are in your favor, you will have reverse implied odds. You will have. Uh, chances of getting sucked out and chances of others having better uh, things, right? So that's the scene. Parihar is asking Adi Pro, can you restock the RCB items? Sure, he will do that in a second. Sir, anything else we can do for you? We are happy to help. I 
Uh, Dee and I both have had late lunch. We haven't had dinner. <laughs> I'm telling you now, like, I just six months back, I could just order McDonald's, but now I just can't. See you all next time. Good luck, Pandit. Panditji, I hope you get a double up. You know, Pro did this. He said nice hand to someone and then just jammed. <laughs> he hung up glove and he got called and just left the table. <laughs> and if I, I wish I was in this hand right now. Obviously, such a fish way of thinking, but this is like a juicy fun pot. Come on, Queen. Uh, anyway, he was dead, but. Oh, GG. And see, Hush is a good player, guys. I've marked him in such a way. And look at the uh, wee pip also. So good. 3 bet percentage is decent. No wonder the C bet percentage was, should be what? is asking can you share your uh, pv versus, uh, versus small blind strategy okay just one second i'll take a scan and then i'll repeat your question can you share your big blind versus small blind strategy i saw you lift ace 3 waiting for bb jam yes there are a couple of strategies out here and then they all really depend on your stack sizes again and who is your big blind or small blind right that is also very important so over here Shubham is a very aggressive player who we're dealing with since we started and this is someone who jammed ace jack on us in the first hand of the tournament and uh, we have made some very big calls to him in the sense like for 50 big blinds we have not taken some flips against him which is a very fair scene to do um, one second so over here the reason why i limped to him was because um, he expects us to jam most of our very good hands and especially all a success king x's because they will not do well at all if we limp to a player like him right and that's the reason why when we limp there, he thinks that we have a weak hand and it was really stack size dependent. My stack was such where he could easily jam 100% of his range on me uh, just to apply pressure because he is that kind of player. There are some players who do not take these unnecessary lines, but there are some players who love taking these lines. So versus a player like that, I decided to uh, limp. Uh, I am 3xing versus a player who has a shorter stack in the small in the big blind versus mine where I can 3x him so for him it's very difficult to just defend with all their average hands most of their hands and it's very difficult for you to step out of your comfort zone and then also stand back and then three bet from uh, you know with your mediocre hand so whenever you will three bet I will give you credit and go accordingly versus my range with you in that point given point but uh, generally when you have a bigger stack um, in the in the big blind if they are passive you can p potentially jam a lot on them and if they are uh, aggressive you can limp when you have even with your good hands because they're 100 percent jamming back on you so that's the thing and when you have same similar stack sizes and uh, that time it gets different ICM also uh, plays uh, comes into play especially later on final tables so that time if there is another player that time who's shorter than both of you then oh my god you both could be like really exploiting each other so that is also something that you could do blinds can get up to uh, especially when ICM is in play before ICM it's all um, you know trying to control the pot understanding how your player is um, now I'll give you an example if Der was in our big blind and I was in the small blind right now I can jam this on him 
if i want because um because of a lot of reasons that he if he's if he actually not this specific player but like if a player who's over folding we can jam all our suited connectors potentially 60% of our range or even more wow what is all this no don't do that I'll help myself. Sure. Yeah, I'll take the eclair. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'll take a break. Ali just offered me a lot of sweets and like candies and goodies. And... Wrap the headphone around your neck and adjust the mic accordingly. Yeah, it's really funny, but I'm gonna try. And I don't mind actually. Yeah, it works. Works. Okay. I actually tried this earlier, and I was finding it's a bit heavy. But yeah, it takes it. Seven doors. Is this? I know a guy. His favorite hand is seven doors off. His favorite hand. Can you imagine? And you know, whenever I talk, like whenever I say something about seven dos, or whenever uh, like we guys uh, say that okay, let's play seven dos or bluff or something, he gets really happy. See, like he he rarely hears stuff like that. He says, <laughs> "Please increase your mic volume. It's quite low." Notorious. Are you serious? You know what all you've done here with the mic? Good. Let me see. Is this working now? Check. I remember in parties, check one, two, three, one, two, check, check. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. Oh, what's going on here? Oh my God. So I don't really care about Shubham because his range is all over the place. But Gavi, what did he flag? And anyway, even if he did, I guess I just know. Just don't call Gabby, please. <gasps> no, I knew it. It's just not him. <laughs> What? It's okay. I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> oh, so close. He could have had eights also, but he had to have tens. Now we can just there. There are too many stacks behind. There are too many people behind. And over here, I'll tell you what, Shubham, we don't care about, right? We want him to jam. We were waiting for him to jam. And the reason why I, um, I flatted against. I mean, why we still jammed even though Gavi was in the pot is because, uh, I expect him to three bet, um, Shubham when he gets in the pot like that. So that's what. Your life section really good. Your life section. Thank you. Here we can just happily flip with the gentleman. Oh my God! What is he showing up with, Jax? This guy who I've been saying like he never has anything. <laughs> well, and uh, and for the burn. I'm gonna say nice hand to him, because he deserves the nice hand, not me. Ak Ashok Kumar, thank you. Do you reach final table today? Yes, I will reach final table today. Actually, I did reach final table today, which was last night, 5 a.m. But I will reach final table again today. I have 60 big blinds. I can. Yeah, the dream is on. The stream is on. The dream is on. Addy is on. What about Gayati? Was she up to? What will wifey say? She okay with wifey? 
Oh, she wants to chill with us? Don't know. No. <laughs> she just wants to chill with us. I was saying I, I was by mistake I saw a random movie. Okay, can I, I wanna get the chocolate I thought I'll wait till the next break. Wow, nice hat. Thanks. I read the hat comment again randomly and I saw it's the latest comment. I'm such a... Noob. OBS noob. Actually, I'm gonna take this off for a bit. Mm. Too much going on, no? If anybody walks into Addy's house, they'll say, what's going on here? <laughs> this woman. Thank you so much. She can use my left hand. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. That's all right. And then maybe I'm going to take something else take also that I can take now. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. Tart was really good. No, Tart is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. What's happening here? Now, are we were sitting here? How come you're here now? I noticed that earlier, but I didn't see it. But I'm seeing the new table. We both are on it. I have notes on Harshman. I can't open them right now on stream. Thank you, Rehmat. Remeth, obviously we want to win with our premiums, but we also want to try and win with our other hands as well, right? So blind on blind, I guess you can always, you should not even think twice before applying pressure from the small blind onto the big blind if your stacks are similar. Because they really need a certain range to call. It's easy to jam, but it's very hard to call. But yeah, you have to be careful also. Adi, thank you. I just noticed you put a tissue also here for me. Wow. Thank you. Oh, you even my water also. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it's such a great host. You're amazing. And I really enjoyed the drive to your house. I'm still thinking about it. It was a long, nice, fun drive. Really cool. And then I saw like... Hmm. And you know when I was driving to your place I saw like this really big wheel of fortune. I don't know what that is. Is that a wheel of fortune or is that a, you just call it a roller coaster? Wheel of, yeah the big wheel. Yeah the Ferris wheel. Yeah. <laughs> And it was all colored and lit, looking nice. And in the back, can you see that's Addy's pool? He's kind enough to let me stream from here because last time I had my dogs all over and I wanted to keep streaming, but I couldn't because my puppies. So I. I would have loved to see better, but I have to put her out here just because look at his stack. And if we do this versus UTG, then it's just there's not a um, you know better way of screaming that you have aces. And I know the disadvantages of that we're gonna get in a multi way pot, but it's fine. Why are we so scared? And look, we get paid. I mean, it works out, right? And Harsh also actually knows what's going on here. Yeah, he's gonna fold, queen it for the win. Not, not today. Not today. And over here also, I've opened a, one of the most beautiful hands. One of them. Which just got killed. And now I'm getting to understand a lot about this Gavi, Gavi guy, huh? But actually, you 
can't say anything now. The other guy also showed up with the goods. Harsh Pushkar. Yes. He's saying that I have a feeling you will reach the final table today. Thank you so much, Harsh. This to me is me. I have to message my husband. Yeah, because even he hopes. Mm-mm. I'm going to look for my phone in the break. I'm sure the break is coming soon. Oh, it's red. Such a fish. I'm such a fish. Let me call him. So sweet. Actually, you know why I thought of him suddenly? Because I told him. Okay, okay. I will share. Okay, baby, okay. He's just worried about me driving back alone at night. Which is fair, no? But I always share my live location whenever I'm driving late at night. So that works out. But then also Goa, sometimes you don't get a signal. But still it's fine and I promise you, I promise you, I've always had, I've never had a bad experience when I'm driving at night. It's all pretty smooth because I drive slow. I cruise, I just drive very, very slow, I enjoy music, I drive very slowly, slowly and um, and and then the only problem that once I had was I was coming down a hill and my brakes were not that strong and I didn't even realize that I'm on a cliff, uh, the turn and I was coming very fast and then that day I promised myself that now I will never speed because at night especially you'd never know uh, a turn could be a cliff or like some dead end could be like something you know anything can happen right so it's something that you have to be super careful and a lot of these cars I've seen have very poor lighting even my car has very poor lighting I have to drive on dipper so it's very irritating so it's important limped aces and it worked thank you vikrant yes that's what you're supposed to do remat running two out of three in 1023 nice good luck good luck the way you are net packing on fishes so i don't have to come on my table <laughs> Thank you, Navneet. I'm not doing that on anybody. I promise. I I can I believe that poker players are meant to surprise you. And if you don't, I mean, people are in chess try to surprise each other when if the game is only solved. So imagine in poker, there's so much to do. We can surprise our opponents at any time. So I do not pick on anyone. And in fact, you wouldn't believe it from the longest time. Uh, I have m- manipulated my images on the table, like on different tables, my image, like I've, I've kind of like manipulated where people online think I'm this because they don't know who I am and then live they, th- they think I'm like that and and everything I've then changed. So it's something that you can just, you know, fix at any point. This is a complete easy sweet fold. I'm just going to fold here, even though it was 10 big blinds. Uh, but if these guys were uh, shoving from the button and small blind and we were in the big blind, I would have definitely called. 
the reason I'm not calling her is because of Abhishek and RV is also a stag maybe but also yeah it's just too much of a gamble and too uh, of a like a mediocre kind of a hand Navneet Tanwar say hi to Ari from my side Ari gave you a salute he said he toasted on your table that's that's life right poker is life life is unfair poker is unfair also great play should go live more often ronak says thank you so much ronak i am so happy to meet your expectations <laughs> i'm just trying to be like a honestly one of my favorite streamers is lex you know you like lex adi Yeah, he's so you know such a chilled out guy. Yeah, I like Spraggy also. Yeah, but I like uh, this one also. Um, I like, I like a lot of Indian players also. There's so many streamers, nice streamers. But we we guys don't get to battle with each anywhere. There should be a streaming battle. Yeah, there should be more streamers for this to happen. Rehmat is asking, who plays better, you or your husband? Now I have a feeling this is my husband's ID. <laughs> I feel Rehmat is my husband. <laughs> Baby, that's not fair. Please come from your real ID. <laughs> Why are you using Rehmat's ID? <laughs> I'll tell you something. No one's a worse player than me and no one's a better player than me. How about that? No one is below me, no one's above me. Simple. We all are students of the game. And I think my husband's a better player for sure because there are a lot of times and I'll tell you I don't know if it's better or um, good or whatever it is obviously his results speak so his results are better but uh, a lot of times in the same hand we both have very different opinions and i'm so um i'm very happy about that like that you know i have my own mind my own opinions and I, my own uh, thought process and uh, i still like there's so many spots there still after going to the best of the best pros i still don't agree with him on that but then the pros agree with him because they say for his image is perfect how he played that but for your image it's different right so how i have to play and how he has to play is completely different but yeah he uh, doesn't play professionally he doesn't study the game or anything so he's got his own um, feel for it and him and his friends love the game a lot but yeah he is more of a businessman than a poker player but yeah he can't lie i know he loves the game but i can't let him or anyone will <laughs> trouble me where poker is concerned when i'm playing when i'm doing my thing i don't like to be troubled that don't play or do this so no one even tries that with me i remember on my the first time when we got married and the first birth the occasion that came uh, the first birth my birthday uh, he asked me like what do you want and i told him that i just want to go play poker this poker tournament and then i ft did so then you know then it was just like Shh, now you will not say anything to me <laughs> because my parents obviously loved it was it's easy for you to convince your own parents but it's very difficult for you to convince your partner's parents that you know poker is um the best choice for you or whatever like you know there's a lot of I'm going to uh, raise here because I mean I should have just gone all in but I'm just doing this uh, it's the same thing um because of the flush draw that's why it's important for us to protect the hand so oh he's on a flush draw too sorry we hit the boat and over here also uh, I'm going to check and then just call put their keep their bluffs in because we are multi way so it's better to ah 
pot size bet. I'm not quite hi happy about this. And um, he has a lot of king queens also. A uh, lot of. But he's got a lot of missed draws also. I'm calling because. Oh yes, he has he has a lot of missed draws, and that's the reason uh, why I call because his his bluff ratio was higher than his nut ratio over there. Uh, the reason being, if he had anything like ace queen or king queen, you know, all of those kind of hands, this hand wouldn't have played out like this right now. So that's the reason why I ended up calling that. And that's the reason why we checked also so that you know we can keep their bluffs and we can do that. So yeah. And I know a lot of poker players who have to you know, propose to their girlfriends and they're so scared to tell their parents their parents, the girlfriend's parents that you know they play poker because the their parents don't play poker and they don't understand it. So, you know, it's a it's something that they would really be able to understand with my story. When you know, when I tell them that you know, it's something that if you in the, at least when you get started out, it can people can have opinions and it can hurt you, even though you shouldn't listen to anybody, but it can hurt you. It's human nature. You grew up around these people, and now all those people have you know this problem, uh, or they have this opinion about something you are so passionate about and you love, and they have a misconception. So, you know, in that case, uh. It's best to just work on your game. Forget everything. Just work on yourself, and everything else will be fine. Those guys will also have their change their opinion one day. I promise you. And that happened when I won the national award. Everything worked out. I'm gonna phone this. It's too too fishy to call the king right now. I wanted to three bet, uh, but it's still not a good spot to do this over here at all. So. Now I'm going to reply. Great play, you should go live more often. <laughs> I'm sorry, I already read this comment. Sorry, I just wanted to hear my own tarif. You know, praise me sort of a situation. Um, this question I'm not answering again. Obviously, he's a better player. Everyone is a better player, but but the challenge is always open. He can come play heads up anytime he wants. Um, a prince Rajna, uh, why are you so beautiful? Thank you so much. Um, that's a very nice compliment, but um, well, you should also uh, know that I'm very intelligent, also. <laughs> I mean, at least you can assume that. And Ashok Kumar says that's nice, whatever it was, he says that is nice. Probably it was my story. He said nice too. Thank you, sir. And I love the fireworks of Happy New Year 2023 going on on the stream right now. It is actually exactly like the fireworks that actually had happened on the New Year's Eve when I was at home bringing in the New Year. And my best New Year parties have been with my parents. They used to go to the most fanciest New Year parties ever. I remember going for this uh, party with them as a teenager. Which was when 2000 happened. So it was that party was called Y2K, and it had like the most grand, crazy, futuristic theme. Everyone had dressed up as aliens. <laughs> and then they had gone for this one party called Dawns and Dolls. So then everyone had dressed up as Dawns, as Italian mafia, and women were dressed as like Italian, like or maybe just like Dawn, Dolls, I think. I remember all these fun, crazy parties and everyone losing. Volume too low again, Vipul. Wait. It's to do with the mic. Maybe it's better. And I'm going to adjust it in the break. And also, I talk non stop now. If I don't talk non stop, mic will be okay. The mic has to process so much. Next time, I'll bring my mic. I'll bring the road next time. I'll bring my road next time for the stream. We'll try and use it. Okay, Shubham. 
Voilà con. Ok. Ok, Shubham. Thank you very much. Please come again. Voilà con. Okay, this is all. Keep your fold. And that was a great, great, great fill up. Webu Sharma! Yay! Webu Sharma in the chat! Let's go! Let's go! Webu Sharma is a walking, talking simulator. Poker simulator. If you have to ask the odds of a hand or if you have to do any like um, anything that you need a poker tool for, you can ask him and his he will do some mental math and give you the answer which will be correct. And I appreciate him for that and he's a great guy but I'm really angry that he doesn't game with me anymore. He hasn't play, played any Among Us or any of these fun games with us. So and here it's going to be a chop pot. Unless, oh no. Bachke. <laughs> I don't like I've lost too many hands on stream. You know, I especially message JD. Happy New Year. How do you lo how do you take losing on stream? <laughs> I don't know why I thought you would know the answer for this. He's like just be yourself. I know, thanks bro. <laughs> thanks for the for the expert advice. <laughs> just be yourself. Just break something. I can break something in Addy's house. Can I tell you the art pieces here? If I break something, <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> and he is gonna kill me. There's nothing I can break here. <laughs> oh, who break started? Now we can fix the mic, do everything, and you guys also enjoy the break. And I'm gonna play Abhishek Goindi and myself. Shock, a buddy cheese hai, but usse bhi buddy cheese hai skill, jo isi shock ko bada karke dunya ki stamne le aaye. Confidence, critical thinking. और स्पॉटलाइट में आके डिसीजन मेकिंग ये स्किल्स सिर्फ ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर्स को ही नहीं पोकर प्लेयर्स को भी डिफाइन करती हैं लर्न विद मी कुछ ऐसी स्किल्स ऑन पोकर टैंक विद पोकर बाजी वॉच द स्पेस फॉर मोर एक्शन दिस गेम मे बी हैबिट फॉर्मिंग और फाइनेंशियली रिस्की प्ले रिस्पांसिबली स्पोर्ट इज अ स्पोर्ट व्हाट अ मैन कैन डू अ वुमन कैन डू बेटर बिहाइंड एवरी सक्सेसफुल वुमन is the woman herself she came she played she conquered the honorable president of india presents the woman achievers award for poker to muskan sethi presenting india's poker queen muskan sethi as poker bazi team pro breaking the biggest poker myth that poker is a man's game Starting with home games, Muskan knew that poker came to her naturally. She was surprised that not many women in India thought they could make a name for themselves playing poker, and she decided to change that. She worked hard at her games and soon was forced to reckon with on the poker fields. Her efforts got recognition when the Honorable President of India presented her with the Women Achievers Award for Poker. the only player in india to have received it and she hasn't looked back since crushing poker games both live and online is what she does daily now but there is more to muskan than just being a brilliant poker player she is a travel enthusiast who loves traveling and poker gives her ample opportunity to do so she is a pet lover and has developed an app doggy do that helps dog owners come together to address various pet related issues and give a forever home to dogs looking for a loving family 
Muskan is a wonderful, passionate person. Her long association with poker is because of her love for the sport. She has represented India at some of the biggest levels globally. Uh, one has to appreciate her efforts in making poker content on her own. Uh, we are very proud to welcome her as Poker Bazi Team Pro. Hi, this is Muskan Sethi, and I'm very excited to be part of India's biggest poker platform, Poker Bazi. As their team pro, at a very young age, I was attracted to strategic games. I started watching poker with my father on TV. Then, after many years, when I met the love of my life, who is today my life partner, he showed me some videos where I found the greatest idols of poker. To name a few players like Phil Ivey, Liv Bury. These were the players I saw, and I thought to myself that you know, uh, why not me? After a few years of that. I qualified for a tournament that was called Shark Cage that put me on TV for one million dollars to play versus the biggest pros. And ever since then, poker has been my passion, and it's something that is going to be in my life throughout. My dad was the reason I found poker, and my mom has always been my hero. My whole family has supported me throughout this journey, and I'm really thankful to them. I'm happy about how Poker Bazi is constantly changing the face of poker in India, getting its social acceptability and respect. They've broken all shackles, and they're bringing so much value to the table for all poker enthusiasts that I can't help but say that they are the very best in India. I look forward to seeing all of you on poker bazi tables and passing on this knowledge of this strategic, fun, and exciting game. So see you there. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. He's been a sports enthusiast since he was a kid. Games changed when he grew up. But his passionate excelling in whatever he did remained the same, and that's when poker chose him. Since then, he has won almost all the major poker tournaments in India. Today, he is the most sought-after poker coach in India. Not just that, he is also a poker commentator and has anchored many poker events across India. He is Abhishek Goindi. Now, who would have thought that mere boredom at a friend's sleepover would result in India being gifted with a great poker player? Starting at the young age, Abhishek Goindi has won umpteen number of poker tournaments and has a very impressive win rate on the fields. His love for poker goes beyond the personal achievements, and that's the reason why he decided to pass on all the knowledge he gained over the years to all the poker enthusiasts in India. Abhishek Goindi is a very interesting personality and a creative guy. He's been a sportsman all his life and uh, someone known to have a daily active lifestyle. With that, he has had consistent good results in poker over the last decade. I feel he's a great personality to represent the brand and promote the sport. We welcome him on board as Poker Bazi Team Pro. Abhishek Goindi as Poker Bazi Team Pro is amazing. It just sounds so good even when I say it. Goindi has uh, of late become one of my close friends, a person I respect and look up to. When I saw him play and you know just how good he is as a human being for me, it was great inspiration, great influence because I knew that in the future when I do take up the game, I want to learn the game from him. I know Goindi since one and a half year, and uh, he's been my coach ever since. The The journey since then has been so exponential, and it's been so amazing. And he's just an amazing person, amazing poker player. His mindset is like we we relate off the fields as well. I went up to and asked him whether you know I can join the boot camp and if he can coach me because he was someone I wanted to get coached by. I think uh, for me it was like the best decision I took in my poker career, like wanting to get coached by him. You want someone who has that extra, that energy, that vibe, you know, that that attracts you to them rather than just being a good poker player. Goindi takes all these boxes. Even though I'm like relatively new in this industry, I mean I don't see anyone else better fitted to represent Poker Bazi, and I wish him all the best. I wish him luck with the Poker Bazi. Yeah. yeah I wish Abhishek Goindi the best for his future yeah, with Poker Bazi. Apart. What's up, guys? Happy New Year. Anyway, uh, I just came to tell you guys: use your points, whatever points are there, use them because um, 20th of Jan, we're gonna reset all the points and give you lots of opportunities to keep using and churning those points because the system gets a little bit difficult to do. So we'll recap everything. So use up your points nicely. I'll, I'll restock some of the stuff as well. Keep going. Keep enjoying.
Alright, Muskan's back, I think, as well. No, no, your hands have started. <laughs> your hands have started here. <laughs> like this is the music. Thank you, Devendra Yadav. Thank you, thank you. And uh, what about cash games? Never see you at tables. You do actually. I come very like s like sneakily. I come and then I go. That's so cool. Adi, I wanted to appreciate your wife's uh, and your small, small touches in the house. Very nice. No, it's really... Like, everything is just so thoughtful, you know? It's really nice. I like Gwindi's house also. And Chiggy's also. I've been to Chiggy's. These guys are in uh, Panjim area. Uh, this is, uh, I'm very unhappy about calling the sevens here because they are not really good here. Um, I'm going to fold this. Actually would have called, oh wow, what a close one. <laughs> nice. It was very close. So close. So damn close. I actually thought told myself it was the eights I call sevens I don't and 13 bigs you know you, you don't realize like these small small hands then they add up to you not having a stack around the bubble and then you are the one who gets punished rather than applying pressure on others this queen three hand could be a great open from the button but also if you can see our button is super short and he is going to exactly act like this wait i'm gonna move though you can hear the songs in my ear You know, there's a sound coming in the back. You guys can't hear it, but I can. It's like from Squid Games. You know that doll when she's singing, when they have to do that green light, red light? Na, 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 na. What does she say? She sings something, no? It's really like freaky once. Obviously, you've seen what happens. But it's like, like that kind of, exactly like that. That kind of a sound coming from the back and someone singing exactly like that and you know uh, so so i really enjoyed obviously the show squid game did you watch it squid game yeah and then you know the old man is like so you have to just memorize the song <laughs> then you have to go just when you know she stops singing or something And honestly, I didn't know that whole tug of war thing. 
I used to play Tago in school. I mean, very, very when I was quite young. I mean, like really, like it's just something I remember playing in the playground, like with friends. Tago, but I didn't know that. But I actually never played in teams. No, I always played solo. But in teams, I didn't know if you stand like alternate, you can win. Yeah, there's a, like a proper way to do. Yeah. Is rock paper scissors solved? Not really, right? I mean, I just feel like redeem link, okay, and also give twenty points, just like that. And just like that. Oh, I'm really unhappy about this flop, but I'm just going to check it, especially this. I don't see. Oh, oh. There's only one way out of this. Yeah, that was only way. It was an expensive one, but we have to. you guys can listen to the music they can right nice so I hope you're like chilling everyone I, oh yeah but I removed it yeah maybe that's the reason they can't hear me but it's okay if you can't hear me let me know and talk to me in the chat because I can read your comments right here I'm not getting disturbed by them and I'm usually doing a lot of things when I'm playing poker, which I shouldn't. But when you're streaming, it's you get used to it. I am not defending this hand even though I usually defend all my suited connectors but it's 3x and I just don't see any reason uh, we don't have any uh, like we spoke about those nut ratios we will not have any of those many uh, of those so versus anything that he has so it's better to just get out of the way preserve our chips and now we have stack in both the tournaments so we're gonna make it count unless obviously something bad happens which shouldn't. Now I'm not too happy about Noob doing this because he has under 20 big blinds. And he's open a stack of 18 point, almost 19 big blinds. So I'm just going to test him here and see what are his plans. If he's going to jam on us, I'm going to fold. But this clearly looks like he's trapping us. So let's just check and see what happens. And also, this could also mean that he also missed everything, but still, this doesn't mean that we are going to bluff and bet. Useless. See, I mean, I just feel, felt like the whole time that he was waiting for us to bet. So yeah, this hand, you can just get rid of. You had a flush, if you call it. I know, Shubham. Shubham, are you the same Shubham? <laughs> from the from the poker from my table if yes then big fan sir Marin, thank you thank you yeah let's do let's do both fts and then we have to play among us if i wake ft tonight we have to play among us okay promise adhi are you going to play among us of course, it's a group. How many people you need? We already have three. Myron is ready. You, me. Uh, and three more people now. Okay. Webhav, Kanchan. Is anybody in the chat? Laksh. <laughs> you know. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll tell you something really funny. So this was the second time I was uh, playing Among Us in person, like live setting, and uh, so we were at somebody's house. I don't remember. I'd gone to uh, wish them or pick up Raghav Bansal or something like that, and uh, Amit Jain walked in. Be Black Legend. Okay, and Amit Jain is there, and these guys were like playing Among Us with him for the first time, and uh, this other guy, Anti Log, was also there, and the game just started, okay, and Amit Jain is playing this game for the first time in his life, okay, and he's like, uh, Anti Log is the imposter. He calls the meeting just when the game started, and everyone's like, why? He's like, because of his face reaction when the game started. And he got really pissed off. Okay, he's trying his best that he kya bakwas hai. How can you do this and all that? And then, then they all voted him, and it was him. It was just the most embarrassing thing and the funniest thing ever. But I laughed so much. I was like, that's a true poker player because it's very really funny for me to watch. Um, but yeah, that was the last time I played with, and I think Lux was also there that day. We just played for only once. They all teased me, and then after that, nobody played with me. And I'm just gonna call this. Yeah. I saw a movie recently, even in that, like they were playing Among Us. Oh my god, I just got nicely milked. <laughs> and this one, um, I should just call off. Actually, we shouldn't have called this, but ooh, ooh, yes. Oh my god. He got rewarded. Risk was the reward. We took a risk and we got the reward. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's good to do these things to other people also sometimes. <laughs> Here we do this now. Okay, cool. Um. The reason why we... I, I don't think anyone needs explanation of why we called. Oh yeah, I have to update my buy for this tournament. And caches is written right now or whatever. But you need to update all of that. Hmm. Yeah. Myron, where are you? Are you in Goa? What's up? How's life? How's the grind going? And um, when are we doing a study session together? I would love to go over a few things with you, if possible. Um, and maybe get some other people also. And, and what are the new tools that you guys are doing these days? What software are you like relying on? What pre-flop charts? I want to know what the, the kids are doing. Um, because these kids are better than me obviously they are really working hard and they're always like you know taking taking it very seriously so let's do a nice session together and we could do a poker body session where all of you can do some hand histories so it'll be very interesting <laughs> Whipple is the volume fine now There's no place I'd rather be. I am so happy I'm in Goa right now. I just don't want to go back. Please, please. I have to go to Bombay also for work. I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to be in. <laughs> and I'm going to Rajasthan also. But that I'm doing going on my birthday, I think. Okay, over here Mohit has jammed. Uh, on top of the so obviously we expect him to have something that needs protection and it's fair enough <laughs> we are still very far from the money money is going to be 100 places paid and it's just still 178 players left it's going good i was just thinking there are only two ways one is going all the way and streaming till 5 a.m. Oh. And the other is setting a, a mark. Then. I'll put, I'll put it this way. Either you 
set a limit or you play till you cash. Bro, I'm not cashing. I'm going to win this tournament. I'm going to go on the final table. What are you saying? And that happened at 6 a.m. I mean, I busted at 5 and in the 7th position. So I'm assuming. But everything, every final table is different. Are they going these so quick, how come? That was also a But it had a good uh, buy in. I mean, it had good money on top. We're calling with a flush draw. Mini baby flush draw, but let's call it. Because anyway, what else can we expect to hit uh, and see uh, with such a defend? It's fine. Bye bye. Thank you. You can take the hand. We don't even want to uh, try and bluff in these situations because it look, there was nothing in the pot. We'd only end up leaking and bleeding. 36 big blinds is a lot. We're gonna preserve it. So. Next time, also, we are streaming, but I need some some challenges for Gotham and Adi can I have some challenges in the chat for Gotham and Adi please if any any creative mind is listening we will call it oh ho you're just chopping with people everywhere <laughs> everyone loves a chop pot Um, I think I've never seen that again. <laughs> I hate job pots. Prem Prakash, Ace 10 suited. You said you shouldn't have called reasons. Um, no. I mean, uh, generally, because that player, I felt like, has a very strong range. Like you saw, he did have kings. Um, <laughs> hold on one second, my mic. That was a big cough. Yes, because the other person rejammed. That was the reason why I felt that we are not going to be ahead of their range. And what we are hoping, the only thing we are hoping to hit when nuts are concerned is uh, we are not going to hit top pair because it, we can easily be dominated by ace king, ace queen. Uh, we are only looking for flushes over there uh, or doing something like what we did, you know, sucking out. Uh, luckily, no one had. Uh, you know ace there so but if anybody else had an ace they wouldn't be having a ace nine over there that was my only concern and the only advantage we have is we are suited so we should know the advantage of us uh, that okay we are suited and this is the max you can get so that's why Prem G I thought this is what I should do and my father's name is also Prem Prakash Sethi so that is crazy that your name is also Prem Prakash I love it. I used to, his his initials were PP CT <laughs> for that reason. Doctor Prem Prakash CT. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, that was my concern because you know honestly, um, you can call off and, the, and like the later stages, but one one person you can call off, but not the not when two people are caught. Under 15 bigs, you can call off these these spots. But yeah, a lot of times you shouldn't. I feel like pocket sixes is a, such a bad call there with a stand there. But you have to sometimes. People can show up with, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Raksha, hi. Welcome to the stream. Oh, we are going to fold this hand to Mr. Mohit's shove because this is really expensive for the fun that we want to have with the king's queen suited. 
<clears throat> can be easily dominated by any of his pairs and obviously even card wise I think you can hear that sound now. Just gave some more points. Just splashing the points. I'm not even opening that chat. Last time I opened it, it was just something so random. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I just got lost in an art piece here in Addy's house. They're just uh, there's an art piece in the shape of ears. <laughs> so I was just trying to see that if they've been placed in the correct way. Because I'll explain it later. I'll do my reasoning with him later. I'm gonna three bet this. And there's a big reason. And the reason is because we've obviously played very, very, uh, we've been playing too passively. We haven't three bet this guy at all. And he's supposed to give us credit here when we do. And just to be safe, we have an ace here as well. And he is supposed to open so much from the button that our ace can make him, having the ace is a big advantage for us because we block him having a lot of ace X's. And because of that blocker, we can make this three bed profitably and get away with it like we did sometimes these things don't work out for obvious reasons oh. Shubham are you the same Shubham you didn't tell me Oh, I'm so desperately wanting to just jam here, but I want Mohit also. Oh, how does it matter? Yeah, it's I'm not gonna give them such easy price, no. So I'm just gonna make a small little three bet here because it's so easy for Mohit to just come in, and then we gotta protect our queens. So it's important that I raise this three bet here if possible and just get upswing to shove on us now only or just. Otherwise, I would have loved to have Mohit involved, but there's uh, him three betting most of his range. I don't see him three betting here and folding. I mean, three betting and whatever. See, four. I mean, we had to protect our queens anyway, so I'm happy that he shows me an ace there. Uh, we just got three bet by the big blind, and then we have ace queen. The only thing we can do is either jam here, but. I would rather pick a better spot to do this with. So I'm gonna fold. I'm not gonna call. I could have called, called if my ace queen was suited. So it gives me more not ratios, it gives me more equity. Slight equity, but enough for me to be um, happily going in, even though. Um, like I said, I could be dominated by the ranges if he could have easily, like, ace king here or. or you know, kings, aces, things like that. And you're just paying for that. So, I mean, the right thing for me, personally, how I play, I would jam here in the last hand or just fold. But it was too much to jam.
Prem Prakash, you could definitely open that depending on the table and everything. You can open it. But if you, uh, yeah, you can definitely open 18 bigs. If I didn't open here, it could have been a different, very different reason. But um, versus the population, please, you should happily do that if you want. Because, uh, I, I mean, that's like just a minimum. Like, definitely you should be opening even uh, king, uh, even your king, king jack plus and stuff. You can start opening from the cutoff. I mean, why not? We can't be so tight also. And that's the only thing that, you know, you can widen up. But are you going to call? Uh, is the 18 big blind jamming on you? Um, you know, those kind of things you need to understand. The button with 18 bigs, is he going to jam on you or not? I mean, he's definitely not going to jam, but just call most likely. But yeah, I definitely would like to open there. Um, it, it, uh, hi, Sean. I got introduced to you after Shark Cage playing on Bazi for a year. <laughs> we were just talking about this only that I've done too much uh, work on the algorithm and the RNGs to understand that it's not rigged <laughs> and it's nothing we can do you know all this uh, you know when we get a bad beat and we just keep crying can't do much here yeah. trust me <sighs> this is not rigged nothing is the, uh, the, uh, the variance is our best friend just how bugs are an app's best friend just like that the variance is our best friend and thank you so much that's really sweet I wish to meet a lot of you poker players and understand your journeys and understand you know I'm a bit of a talker and I love talking super curious and that's why I run my own podcast also, which I shouldn't. I actually recorded it last year. But uh, my next season I'm going to do with Adi. That's how I've decided. Adi, you're going to do the next season with me? I'm done. You're going to be my co-host, right? It'll be really interesting, no? you do something really interesting. Done. We have to do this at least. Um, Just check here. What's going on in this land here? Yeah. Seriously. I like neat hand histories and this is just one of those hand histories I'm gonna get. But how can I even bet? This is fine. Okay, we're gonna fold this one. Uh, that's a very naughty defend in the small blind can't even do much here i do not like to three bet this here i personally don't because i want to see the flop <laughs> and we flop seven seven i also have two jersey numbers one is seven and one is five and they both have come five because that's my birthday and seven because that's my destiny number seven because i'm from heaven <laughs> Addy's like did you just say that on my stream <laughs> no no yeah seven from heaven i'm not from heaven seven is from heaven <laughs> i'm on a highway to hell <laughs> I heard this song like two, three times this New Year's. <laughs> I was like so scared because I heard this song in that movie also. Uh, the f the final destination. Oh my god, oh my god it was so. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm very scared of Final Destination movie. That was a freaky one. And then you have to see, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Have you seen that movie? Um, often. That girl, yeah? You know what I'm talking about, right? Who wears a necklace like that, yeah? The same one, right? Okay, so there's a second one It's come out. She's grown up. No, you have to watch that, Adi. You have to watch it. She's grown up. Now she's our age. <laughs> you have to watch it. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm just thinking about all these movies right now. The, the the makers have done a good job. You actually feel them. And even IT. Oof. That was also scary for me. Uh, in the chat, can you tell us some scary movies? Have you missed out on anything? And something nice, not something that's not scary. And, I mean, something like that has to have like a mind twist. So it's interesting. Poker players like these kind of movies. And not just poker players. Right now, I think it's the most trending topic. <clears throat> I thought I was the only one who listens to all these freaky podcasts. I listen to this crime podcast. Okay, it's called Hidden Files on Spotify. It's in Hindi. Uh, it's a Hindi cyber crime podcast, Adi. It's insane. You have to hear it. But they're really old stories now. Yeah, and it ha- and he has like special effects when the music is also comes on when he's telling you the story. He's really good. Navneet, the answer is YouTube University. <laughs> no, so I, I was in college and then I uh, dropped out of two colleges. I was working with my sister early and then I just completed randomly a like, open degree. But like I, I missed out on college life. I was hustling. I was working right after school. I was I was at work from after school only. Yeah, and I then I wanted to pursue college even later, but there are a lot of these. There were a lot of degrees that I wanted, so I did those. I went to LCF. I went to Pearl. I went. I did did the degrees I wanted. I did the. I mean the professional degree, not just you know academic one. Oh wow! Hi Moti, thank you. Thank you for coming back. Morning, how have, how long have you been playing poker? I'm sorry for missing out this question. I've been playing for very, very long. I was just remembering. There was this one time that I had forgotten only. I had played poker so many times with my friends also. And like generally, uh, when I was 11 years old, I was introduced to it. But I used to play for fun with my friends at a very, very young age. Then I got to know poker is actually a real game. In when I was maybe I was 20, like in the early 20s, I got to know that poker can be played for real money also. And in fact, very late I got to know that poker can be played for real money and there's an actual thing. And sometimes I wish, like I sometimes, even in my um, startup and in a lot of other things, I have people who are smarter than me always around me, okay? So I'm always like admiring things that they have and they are always like, they also admire a few skills which I feel have come through poker in me. So, but it's mostly me admiring their skills and I've always felt that, you know, I wish if I had gone to one of those really... Um, like legit colleges and stuff. Maybe I would have had that better, this better. My the way I email would have been better. My protocol would have been better. So yeah, those things I I feel that you really pick up from college. But there's nothing that 
um life can't teach you and and if you really have to most of the things are not really um you know you find them quite early in life and then you follow a different path and then college is not relevant not important not necessary and if you see the podcast that i did everyone in my uh, on my guest list over there these are not people that who did like degrees and did all of that these are people who are like dropouts and people who yeah yes they, there is one guy who's from a very who's from a great college but still they are they've relied on things that have just happened out of the box for them and but there are so many advantages of college also but you can always teach yourself the skills that you feel you're lacking like i i try to keep improving myself and i'm always learning and reading the books that i want to read not the books that i have to give an exam on uh i have a new question looks like the swan's going to swim to the final table yes ace is on fire we're going to do that and i had to call that I seven three off, and I just had to press one button, but oof. I did a small mistake. Let him live. Let him live. Uh, there's nothing to say. I haven't seen Kantara. Kantara, whatever this is, I haven't seen it. Oops. I'm going to break something. No. Thank you so much for staying up with us and watching the stream. I hope you are having fun. I hope you also grinding on the side. I hope I'm able to entertain you guys cuz I'm not much of an entertainer, but I wish I was one. Cuz in person I try to make my friends laugh a lot but I'm trying to do that on the stream also and I do not think it's working out. <laughs> yes, yeah. Addy is about to sleep. He's feeling very sleepy listening to my conversations. Addy, can you uh, tell us if there's any nice cool game out there? apart from poker obviously so now this is a um quite a decent player over here and how much do i three bet him for i'm going to make it 16 16 big so So we got three bed. Now, I mean, I would want to uh, narrow down his range to really the top top. That's why I'm like feeling a little weird right now to just jam on him or do anything tricky because I do not see any bluffs in his range. And um, I mean, all of this is all trapping or it's the same hand, honestly. Oh. Not bad, but that's so crazy that he calls pocket eights like that. And then he plays it like that. Wow. I mean, if he's putting me exactly on ace king and ace queen then it was a very easy nice board for him to take that down. It's fair enough. I I'm scared that this guy would have actually called us down if he did anything tricky like just jam there on a I don't see us having uh... hmm, but this was very nice to note and I'm going to keep a note on this guy in the future <coughs> so right now we got 3 bet I had ace king and I decided to 4 bet the guy flatted but I 4 bet like Adi I'm talking to you It's okay. 
I'm going to discuss it later. And yes, Premji, the reason why we flat there is because, and especially with King Queen C suited, is because it, we do not want to lose out on the equity. We want to, we have a lot of equity. We want to see this hand, and we can go uh, multi way also. We don't want, we we want our three bet hands that we also want to win without showdown. And this is one of those hands that we don't mind seeing the flop. We it would suck for us to fold later to if we three bed and then someone jams on us it's not going to be a correct call over there that's the reason you had i was thinking one step ahead that oh, i can't auto fold this i'll have to call now it's a fold Because King Queen suited is such a beautiful hand, and I don't want to be jammed on and then not know what to do and then have to. And we're going to be on the bubble soon here. And I'm still thinking about this hand right now. And to be honest, I I would like to get my sizing checked here uh, with the. Uh... Now, in this spot, I can just totally jam. But because it's the last level of rebuy, and I know what all, like, he can. So look, he's gonna jam now. So I'm just gonna fold. He's doing this before he jams, obviously. Oh. So I was saying I was gonna get my bed sizing checked over there. Uh, for bed sizing. I think my four bed sizing was fine, but I would still wanna get it checked if I have not kept up with something. And then you know, but I'm pretty sure I'll be close because even I put gave him the odds, I put him in that spot, you know, to set mine and do all of that. Maybe it was the wrong wrong sizing that we used. Otherwise, we expect pocket aids to fold pre. We can't give them odds to set mine against us like that. Let me know if you guys want me to talk or explain any concepts in Hindi because we do stream in Hindi also but it's just I'm getting a lot of questions in English so we've kept the stream on in English otherwise I am happy to speak both languages and here we have kings which is crazy Hitesh Bhai has made life very easy for us. And now Ikka is gonna think. Fair fight. It's a fight. We already lost the fight, but it was a very short stack and it does not matter. And Jen Prashant decides to show his queen. He says Thank God I didn't see the flop. <laughs> that was his reasoning. That was a fair fight versus Ace King. It's fine. Even though it hurts, but it's fine. Because it's this is gonna chips. Uh, Elliot Rowe says chips are like waves. They come, they go. So we can't get attached to them. Just how we watch the waves come and go on the sea, like on the beach. When you're observing the sea or the ocean or the water, the waves are like chips. So that is a okay. We have 
Addy, you wanna come and entertain us for a bit, please? As in, like, something, give us, give the chat, like, a challenge or do something. <laughs> and let's get it. Wow. Just up now he started leading. Just fold here only. Yeah. Nice, we've got queens. We got a three bet. Check, check. One, two, three. One, two, three. Going all in. Actually, not yet, but yeah. Now, Jai Mata Di. Now it's a fight again. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Nice. See, it's okay. You got a fight. So, it's like a boxing match. Never ending boxing match. Isn't it happy? Poker is like a never ending boxing match. The whole time. Now, whoever is like, if one person has to go, we finished. I mean, any which way. We, I think, I'm pretty sure we're close. No, we have time. Ma'am, his 3 bed size was 4x, then your 4 bed size should have been a little bigger than 16 bigs. Uh, I actually, this is why I said that I wanted to get my uh, sizing checked is because uh, when we 4 bed uh, to induce an all in, uh, especially I wanted him to go all in there, uh, we were going to call him pre-flop also, right? We were very happy to do that. So that is when you just... Uh, you just double the four bed. That's the sizing. When you're three bedding, you can go four x. You can go five x. But when you're four bedding, you uh, should make it ideally just double of what they've done, and uh, or maybe slightly more, just slightly more. And I wanted to understand that only, what it could be, how much could it be. That's the reason why we did not do that. Uh, Vinay Vadva is asking, can you help me on hand selections? Of course, we will. We are going. We are doing it in front of you. You can see I'm facing um, a lot of those uh, scenarios where I'm also facing a hand and I'm in that dilemma whether I want to continue call and it's too good to fold, too good to play. I mean, too uh, average to play. So that's the thing. Like 20 BB or jam as a bluff against his 3 bet as a 3 bet run would be loose. Yeah, you can assume. We can assume that, Preen G. Even this king seven right now that I folded, you can just sometimes call if you want to just finish off things, but it's fine. Like you don't always have to do that. You can just generally give people a walk and all that. And now over here, we can just, yeah, now we can bet because you've also, there's a, hi BB girl. Thank you. Thank you. So now I I'm going to. Raise it again. Har Har Mahadev. Yeah, 
If he jams, I'm not too happy about that actually. He's got a lot of baby sets there. It's fine. Um, I check reason because I wanted to protect the flash draw. And no, thank you. I've got this. No, it's perfect. I I this is this is the weather I like. I hate putting on the AC. Ace is on fire. Let's go. The infected soul as a beginner and I know poker is like golf but still some ballpark amount. I am from Delhi. Somewhat a normal income but a ballpark amount. What is normal I need to have? Okay, what is a ballpark number you need to have? Yeah, I, oh, that's very interesting what you said. So he said he, as a beginner, knows that poker is like golf. What you, so poker is actually like golf, I'll tell you how. Poker, even golf pros have to work with uh, a lot of coaches. They have to, it's very expensive, it's an expensive sport. So even poker is. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to come back and answer this question. Thank you. शौक एक बड़ी चीज है पर उससे भी बड़ी चीज है स्किल जो इसी शौक को बड़ा करके दुनिया के सामने ले आए कॉन्फिडेंस क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग और स्पॉटलाइट में आके डिसीजन मेकिंग ये स्किल्स सिर्फ ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर्स को ही नहीं पोकर प्लेयर्स को भी डिफाइन करती हैं लर्न विद मी कुछ ऐसी ही स्किल्स ऑन पोकर टैंक विद पोकरबाजी वॉच द स्पेस फॉर मोर एक्शन This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. A sport is a sport. What a man can do, a woman can do better. Behind every successful woman is the woman herself. She came. She played. She conquered. The Honorable President of India presents the Woman Achievers Award for Poker to Muskan Sethi. Presenting India's poker queen, Muskan Sethi, as poker bazi team pro, breaking the biggest poker myth that poker is a man's game. Starting with home games, Muskan knew that poker came to her naturally. She was surprised that not many women in India thought they could make a name for themselves playing poker, and she decided to change that. She worked hard at her games. and soon was forced to reckon with on the poker fields her efforts got recognition when the honorable president of india presented her with the woman achievers award for poker the only player in india to have received it and she hasn't looked back since crushing poker games both live and online is what she does daily now but there is more to muskan than just being a brilliant poker player She's a travel enthusiast who loves traveling and poker gives her ample opportunity to do so. She is a pet lover and has developed an app Doggy Do that helps dog owners come together to address various pet related issues and give a forever home to dogs looking for a loving family. Muskan is a wonderful passionate person her long association with poker is because of her love for the sport she has represented india at some of the biggest levels globally uh, one has to appreciate her efforts in making poker content on her own uh, we are very proud to welcome her as poker bazi team pro hi 
This is Muskan Sethi and I'm very excited to be part of India's biggest poker platform, Poker Bazi, as their team pro. At a very young age, I was attracted to strategic games. I started watching poker with my father on TV. Then after many years, when I met the love of my life, who is today my life partner, he showed me some videos where I found the greatest idols of poker. To name a few players like Phil Ivey, Liv Buri, these were the players I saw and I thought to myself that, you know, uh, why not me? After a few years of that, I qualified for a tournament that was called Shark Cage. That put me on TV for $1 million to play versus the biggest pros. And ever since then, poker has been my passion and it's something that is going to be in my life throughout. My dad was the reason I found poker and my mom has always been my hero. My whole family has supported me throughout this journey and I'm really thankful to them. I'm happy about how Poker Bazi is constantly changing the face of poker in India, getting its social acceptability and respect. They've broken all shackles and they're bringing so much value to the table for all poker enthusiasts that I can't help but say that they are the very best in India. I look forward to seeing all of you on Pokabazi tables and passing on this knowledge of this strategic, fun and exciting game. So see you there. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. He's been a sports enthusiast since he was a kid. Games changed when he grew up. But his passionate excelling in whatever he did remained the same. And that's when poker chose him. Since then, he has won almost all the major poker tournaments in India. Today, he is the most sought-after poker coach in India. Not just that. He is also a poker commentator and has anchored many poker events across India. He is Abhishek Goindi. Now, who would have thought that mere boredom at a friend's sleepover would result in India being gifted with a great poker player? Starting at the young age, Abhishek Goindi has won umpteen number of poker tournaments and has a very impressive win rate on the fields. His love for poker goes beyond the personal achievements and that's the reason why he decided to pass on all the knowledge he gained over the years to all the poker enthusiasts in India. Abhishek Goindi is a very interesting personality and a creative guy. He's been a sportsman all his life and uh, someone known to have a daily active lifestyle. With that, he has had consistent good results in poker over the last decade. I feel he's a great personality to represent the brand and promote the sport. We welcome him on board as Poker Bazi Team Pro. Abhishek Goindi as Poker Bazi Team Pro is amazing. It just sounds so good when I say it. Goindi has uh, of late become one of my close friends, a person I respect and look up to. When I saw him play and you know just how good he is as a human being for me, it was great inspiration, great influence because I knew that in the future when I do take up the game, I want to learn the game from him. I know Goindi since one and a half year and uh, he's been my coach ever since. The the journey since then has been so exponential and it's been so amazing and he's just an amazing person, amazing poker player. His mindset is like we, we relate off the felts as well. I went up to and asked him whether you know I can join the boot camp and if he can coach me because he was someone I wanted to get coached by. I think uh, for me it was like the best. Infected soul, you're so mean. You're saying unfair, huh? You don't want me to go on a break? I get one break in one hour. <laughs> okay, but definitely we were talking about golf and poker being so similar, which is so true. I was saying that's really, really amazing that you said that. Because um, golfers have to invest just like poker players do. It's an expensive hobby. Same, poker is also an expensive hobby. In golf also you get really because you risk a lot your time your uh, money everything and your your own uh, you know skills uh, versus that you also get rewards where you have tournaments for your skill sets also and that is exactly how it is in poker where you can find your forte you can find your uh, field and you can start playing those tournaments and you will always find something that you can afford so when you ask me give you a ballpark amount uh, it's not really um, it's like they say that you need from 40 to 200 
big blinds in a cash game for the stake that you play for a cash game and depending on tournaments also you need to have they say thousand blinds are enough but if you stick to that rule then definitely you'll always be in control of the bankroll management so that's the whole scene and uh, whatever you do make sure whatever stakes you pick so if you have, want to pick big stakes for thousand by thousand x thousand rupee tournaments then you should have you know hundred buy-ins for that and i hope i was audible and yes you could do that and thank you poker and travel hi thank you thank you welcome on the stream apart from any other platform vinay vadwa is asking is any platform you can get better at um so i'll tell you the priority list here of course it's poker bazi school number 1 uh then you could be probably uh, take abhishek in this coaching cuz he's someone in india and he's going to help you with your field your all of that right and then we have uh some other classes also where you now there are platforms like uh run it once bbz these two platforms are quite great for uh, the poker content that's already out there you can watch a lot of streams on youtube you can watch a lot of streams on poker go and that's it you can um, watch our streams because you'll see how other players also playing you're not just seeing how i am playing you're also seeing how mahadev is playing or how ritesh bhai is playing and if you haven't played these stakes or if you're someone who you know just that mem- this one small information can help you the next time you're in hand with them and uh, probably we could have gone a little bigger here because we do get called by his king axes if he had any which he was just leading with and if he does have any other ace axes then probably yeah, we do see we get called and we could have gone slightly bigger we were still getting called with his ace axes because that's how it is and vinay vadwa with hand selection this only yeah um you're going to you're going to understand like we were just discussing that we make most of our money on the button and we lose most of our money in the big blind so the hands that you're selecting in these positions positions that you have a lot of advantage in those are the positions that you must you know always continue in now in this hand we we'll, we we'll obviously get a call here as well now we're going to be good but it was blind on blind so i could not inflate the pot a little higher and i think it went the way it did could have maybe also if we get called here then obviously we are way behind but because there are so many like even in the cut off there your range is quite wide so you are supposed to open a lot of your um, hands which ace five of suited could be ahead against but it does not make sense for us to just flat here if we really want to make money because now if he does decide to continue and we do you know get away from one so let's see This is the reason why we are always ahead of his opening range there any which way when he's opening king x's and a lot of the queen x's and uh 
I mean, he's opening suited queens. Uh, he's opening like queen ten suited, queen jack suited. He's opening a lot of these um, king X's. He's opening a lot of the ace X's. So even his ace ace X's that he's opening are going to be in a very tough decision. They'll have to make a uh, ace six suited or ace five suited. That you know, what do I do there? So. Vinay Vatva, what should be an ideal betting structure when you do all in and all of a sudden you busted? What should be? Huh? <laughs> what is this question? <laughs> nice hand. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot who sent this emoji at me. I'm gonna like, how do I like say thank you? And to who? One second. Excuse me, guys. In your poker journey, have you ever felt like quitting? Like when you faced your first downswing or something? Also share how your first downswing feeling and how you navigate downswings. Motivation to action. Of course, I will. I would love to answer this question. Yeah. So, um, I remember the first time I played my one of the very first poker tournaments, live international big tournaments where I was sponsored and I'd gone for. I was uh, playing with all my heart. Oh God, is it too, it is a bit early to just jam here. I'm just going to fold here because we can just jam or fold with under this kind of stack. So when I just started out my journey and I'd gone for my very first big international tournament for which I was sponsored, I it was a very emotional roller coaster. I was playing with all my heart. I was uh, chip leading at a very early stage, and imagine like the day two is about to day two is about to commence in the sense that day one is about to end. We are about to bag and tag and like few levels away from that. So. I did not know that. I was so new. I had not been a part of, uh, you know, these long tournaments, right? They are just from Shark Age to my first light tournament. And I was, um, I did not realize that now I need to lock down my stack and now I can just preserve and chill. So I did a mistake by, I was very aggressive. I was opening everything. I opened a hand, like 9-5 of clubs. I opened from the button. And you would be surprised like today I don't open 9-5 of clubs from the button but that time I did and the three I got a, um, a the big blind defended um, and actually the big blind three bet me slightly okay it was not even 4x it was it was like one of those uh, like I 3x and they make it 5 so it was one of those kind of bets and I just thought okay I decided I call I call and I flopped the straight so I have nine five of clubs and I have six seven eight on the flop and uh, now I was like really stuck in this hand because he bet really big and now I have a straight so I bet I read I raised him and then he called then on the turn um, he bet again really big and the turn was another eight um, and and then I think he, he bet really big I called and then on the river um, it was basically it paired up and then the flush also came out okay and then basically he he jammed and I made a I made the fold here because there was a flush out there was a straight out and there were so many things out and I felt like and then I, I, I busted after that and it sort of bagging a chip lead i remember busting out of the tournament i'd come gone so far from all the way from india i'd gone to amsterdam to play this tournament and i was walking out on the streets and i just was really like shaken because it i did not know how to comprehend and uh or to make of something like so big and that time i remember going on a rant talking to any poker player and telling them oh i had a bad beat and all and it was very difficult for me um then i took like when i did my first mindset coaching session i spoke about this hand because it used to haunt me that guy told me after he won the hand he told me it was a bad fold and that he was bluffing 
but if he was bluffing he would have shown me so he did not show me his bluff if he would have shown me his bluff i would have gotten over it but because he did not show me his bluff i did not realize after that also i had 30 40 bigs and i ended up blowing that away my blowing away my stack because i was tilting clearly like you know a victim of something that can happen to someone who loses a hand or anything in life when things go wrong right so then basically i uh, told myself i'm not going to do this i'm going to study and i'm going to come back and i'm going to see what these pros are up to and i'm going to you know i can also i have it in me i can do this and that's when i did it and then as time has passed i realized that it's not like what stakes you play or how much like what expensive binds you can play or what you can play of course playing with good players will really make your game excellent because you're playing with the world's best players make you very good but over time you get better so it really doesn't matter where you're playing what you're doing if you're crushing whatever you're playing you're going to be sorted and you have to start embracing uh, variants otherwise you're not a professional you're just someone who's recreational and this is how we watch a football match and we we get so emotional same same way you're also getting emotional so but if you want to start getting better at the game and you have to understand that this game is not of emotions it's got nothing to do yet emotions will are going to be the reason why you are going to reach a poker table one day right why 3 uh, why 4.5x 3 bet size from um but a button to cut off um i think that was a fair uh, size we can go 5x also but i think that is perfect we don't go less than that because then we give them odds to just come along for free over here we can defend because even though we have seven dues so but we have seven dues suited and it's blind on blind so we practically against each other the full range in a way uh, but small blind so we can all just fold but definitely if you can definitely see the flop prem how do we know we are ahead right now we know we are ahead but he could have also like smaller pairs or he could have maybe maybe he could have pocket nines also there or he could have a lot of those hands so that's the reason why we go so big with the three bet sizing so that he does fold and what are you going to do with queens there what are you going to do with kings there are you going to give them odds to just come along uh enough odds and not make the money that you can uh so those are the things and you don't want them to continue with their uh, king queen suited so you don't want them to continue with maybe a better a6 the first thing i said was i don't want him to continue with his uh with his uh suited aces something like suited uh a6 suited a5 suited those kind of hands are going to according to me uh, auto fold there once we three bet them uh so that's why we did that but um and i don't uh, and it's very good in poker to win hands without showdown we don't have to actually because he has king jack doesn't mean he we both will uh, by the time the river comes we both will still have the same equity that we have right now pre flop so it's very important to fight it out and win hands down and use the correct sizing and have it balanced cuz i'm going to balance that not just with my bluffs and i'm going to balance it with my other hands also as you see i've done that with queens i've done that with kings so that's the reason and motivation to action definitely you feel like quitting uh, you don't feel like quitting you feel you love the game you'll keep going you will do it but then you know there are a lot of other factors that will come into play where it'll be very difficult for you it'll make your life difficult right so you will feel like giving up and so that's when you should just take a break and uh, don't like literally give up on anything you love ever in life because you will only regret it we uh, life is so precious and even these things of having passion for something is not like a, just a coincidence i don't believe in that I believe everything has a reason. Everything we are passionate about poker. There is a reason behind it, and it's it's something very sacred to us. So it should be sacred to you also, your uh, poker. And when you feel like quitting, you can just take a break, man, and always come back and come back stronger. 
and do that and just have other things also in your life because you will s- soon realize that poker is a lifestyle it's not just a game it's not something that or just a hobby it's a lifestyle and it's something great i hope i was i'm answering all the questions right i'm just talking non stop non stop i can talk then i did you also do this you do this promise like you just non stop talk nice i also do that but i also listen i like audio books just listening to people listening listening and you know honestly it's you guys who are asking me all these questions in the chat otherwise i don't even give out uh, poker advice like that because i always feel that you know there's so many better poker players out there who you can uh, go and ask uh, so i always keep my game to myself uh, but i no longer will get into these uh, you know psycho like i'm not going to fall into these traps man i'm just just going to be free just psychology to to be honest you just got to tackle it like that and uh, it is that part of it so you don't have to have that imposter syndrome you should not feel um you know burden you should enjoy like today also when i was coming to stream there was a big uh when i came on the stream i was a little worried whether i'll have enough time any see on upswing poker lab i haven't tried it but uh, they used to have uh, nice coaches back in the day i don't know if they still do uh, but i i'm pretty sure there are better things also but you never know yeah dark poker content you should definitely check out poker and travel let me find your con- uh, question please Oh, poker and travel said hi. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. I'd gone for a break. I just remembered, and then I was answering. I had just finished my answering the long question. Thank you, thank you for joining the stream. Have I, if I missed out any other question also please write it in the chat because I'm only here till the next break um before it gets too late for me to drive back home I don't know how I'm going to manage this looks like I'm going to spend the night here Ali but any which way even um can we do like a surprise stream after you uh said bye to the stream can you come back again and i know you can't live i know what you mean so now we are around the money bubble so i'll tell you the situation a little bit here i would have loved to open this hand but i'm going to fold here because anyway there are a lot of shorter stacks and he's utg he's not going to be doing something like this with 20 big blinds Uh, so oh it's going to be a long night long long night i'm going to ship it today adi mark my words but i'm so scared about this whole thing that's going to happen in the middle this glitch that the matrix is sending my way Either I have to see the night here or to drive back. <laughs> That's a very big glitch. <laughs> yeah, for me to peacefully, you know, when you're playing poker, you should have nowhere to go. You should have nothing to do. I- I'm staying here. That's my mindset. So I think now the lot of this tanking is going on because everyone's uh, around the bubble and it's fair to um, use this only I think you able to use it till you can because a lot of places are have short clocks 
and like how online also has a limit to you know for you to not waste your time bank if you can avoid wasting your time bank you can totally use your your time and do all of that it makes a slight slight difference it's very slight but it but it's silly also because you will get less you get to see less hands and then you won't get a double up but it's also not guaranteed not to get a double up at this stage so if you can somehow make the money and he's just paid the blinds if he can somehow just survive hope somebody else gets busted on another table so that's what it's going to do same over here also we are on the bubble and that's why we didn't get a call when we had sevens here because he doesn't expect anybody to be doing that so i'm not going to just open this randomly because i have to apply pressure and i have chips on the table i'm going to do that but i'm going to do that very strategically when i can you're into audiobooks or do you physically read paperbacks also i obviously honestly i have tried to read uh, books like i have kindle also and i've done like physical books also there are it really depends sometimes i enjoy a book so much that i heard it on an audiobook or i read it and then i heard the audiobook also i get obsessed when i read a book i get little, like i dive into it i properly feel it live it and then i leave it forever and then i keep revisiting there are a lot of books that i've revisited again just to feel like that again just to um get that mindset again i have done those things as well so content i mean the way it's presented to us of course any which way you know um it can come to us i would take it but yeah uh, it's very hard to find good podcasts and stuff it's very hard to find even good audio books because not every audio book is narrated by the author and there are a lot of people doing the same thing so are we on the bubble of this one even if we are i think we can jam here because of given the stack size is behind it was a quick one Poker and travel. No, no. After that, a long message. I will type. Please take note. Okay, you will. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Do that. But right now we are focusing on the money bubble over here. Oh, we got very quick folds with the pocket eights out there. And Adi has very nicely written down our caches and binds, everything over here. Ooh, it's showing our subscribers. Danny is the latest subscriber. Nice. Don't worry, I'm getting used to all this. Adi has put everything that you need on the screen there, so it's quite easy. Thing is, I'm okay. We made the money over here. We made the money over here. Um, so the bubbles are out. Now you can expect some crazy people to start jamming like we will. I mean, I don't think we should. I mean, what is this here? Huh? Uh, there are so many people behind. Honestly, there are two ways we can just call also. So let's just call. So we get max value. Could have just jammed actually. Bit strange. 
because he has he's under the gun i'm just being a little conscious and there were so many people behind us that's why look at this phoenix takes a stab we're gonna call and we're gonna see hate these kind of flops which are neither here neither there uh, this is an easy fold now i guess it's fine On a serious note, are there any job openings at the moment in Bazi? Asking out of curiosity. I'm pretty sure they are. You should find out. And join us. It's such a fun, fun, fun ecosystem. I love poker Bazi and I'm very happy I landed here. Isn't it, Adi? And I'm also with my homies. <laughs> As in always surrounded by the best people the nicest intention nice intentions good intentions and really great people this song also now sounds like you know the song that's viral on insta these days i don't wanna get off my feet thank you for sunshine thank you for rain We are really short here. We should have just jammed pocket sevens and seen whatever happens. Yeah. YOLO. And now we are so short. And then, so we're just gonna. I'm. I'm very happy to jam A's twos here in any any situation. No matter who opens here, we are going in. Yes. Actually, I'm going to fold this. I, I mean, no, yeah. I want to be the one to jam. I'm not going to call off with these twos. Oh, now, ace 10, I'm going to jam. Probably re jam also, if possible. Yeah, we are in the money. Of course, of course, please. I would love to listen to your books. Please, can you also send them to me on Insta uh, inbox or I don't know how how you're gonna. Okay, send me an email on. I'm gonna write it down. Official at muskanct.com. Send me an email. Send me one email with your books that you've written on official at muskanct.com. Write it down for you. <laughs> you talk nonsense. <laughs> In circles, domination. <laughs> Addy's, Addy's face should have been in the camera. Come and show it. <laughs> it's okay, bro. This is life. It's fine. It happens. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't see how much I cashed. So you can type it here and it's not zero. Thank you. Yeah, so the small one I... Oh no. You know, it's like failures list. And then, uh, what? Uh, 
plus. What? Sorry, gag. Thank you, random player, India, and thank you, motivation to action. I love uh, your note. That's really, really nice. Yes, let's uh, see us. See us soon for sure. To what extent you need to bluff? To the extent that you are satisfied that you played a good game of poker, right? Bluffing is the best part about poker, according to me. As a team pro, no, I just wrote mine as <laughs> thank you, poker and travel. I will do that. Two players are left, and still a very long way. Uh, I'm gonna open this hand. Oh man, I'm not happy about the big blind stack here, but we just have to open and see. A few jams we can fold. Ace King he shows. Wow, nice. Thank you, I've noted the email. Okay, done, done, done. Now we're gonna play some serious poker. Think till the next break. Um, I'm gonna try and stream. Then I might have to change my device. Um, but, 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 I'm gonna be streaming more often. And if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna steal some slots from these guys. Are you checking my audio? And he's just amazing, yeah. It's so bad he hasn't had dinner and he's babysitting. Yeah. You know, I gave up like um, aerated drinks, Coke, Fanta. Yeah, man, I was really, I was addicted to like Coke. Completely gave up aerated drinks. Well, and now I I create sugar, but I also gave up ice creams. I've given up ice creams. I've given up aerated drinks, and um, I haven't come. I don't drink so much coffee, so whenever I do, it's fine because I don't. I'm not addicted to coffee. But yeah, it's not good to be addicted to anything. Moderation, balance, and but there's some advantages to. Yeah, we're coming. We're in the pack. Mm. Yeah, nobody. I mean, decent players, and um. Mm. 
music is proper squid game music these guys can't hear it we are we are playing good music for you but for me <laughs> yeah there's a lady us <laughs> she's singing so loudly she's singing that poem from the squid game when they're about to go uh, for that uh, green light red light thing and non stop she's been doing that Mahendra Singh Thakur I don't know but I think you're getting a <laughs> performance pressure <laughs> thank you <laughs> are you it's a saying in poker yeah seven from heaven ace from space and what else you know when adi comes back I'll ask him he should know more of these also seven from heaven ace from space Are there any more words like that? <laughs> These are the only famous ones. Raman Arora, hi! Thank you, thank you. I also want to ship it. I'm going to ship it. That's the plan. That is the plan. Last night I came a little close to that. Que- uh, Adi, there's a question for you. Come. How tilted will I be when it actually sits it as the overtakes Ashwin? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Right now, what's the point? Everyone's been saying that, and uh, he can't hear me. He can. No, no, no. No, it's a cool question, bro. Come on. <laughs> never happening. Never happening. Adi doesn't tilt on football. I tried to ask him that time also something, and he is very calm. He was very calm. He was not getting excited. He said, "I don't fall for all this." He said. Now we can jam. Yay! Caught him. Yeah. Thank you, Pocket Queens Double Four. Nice. <laughs> yeah. See you on the tables. You know I love bluffing. Bluffing is the best thing, but. What do you want to do? Yeah, so I asked him about uh I was just trying to ask him about some football beef and he was just not getting into it, man. So mature. <laughs> I felt so immature after that. I was like the way you you're like I'm not into. I don't get into all these things you said. I was like oh. <laughs> Just starting to get into it. <laughs> Where is the podcast we did? Where is the podcast that we did? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's edited. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Um, following this, I'm not going to pay for his.
Oh yeah, it's on table two, payouts? Yeah. Okay, nice. Come on, shove it. Go all in now. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Three for free, hello. Wow, man. Oh my god. Oof. So close. He did a proper dramatic tank shove. Nice hand, sir. Nice hand. We'll, we'll, we'll just give you the chips for a bit. We'll take it back. Hello, hello, come on. Three for free. You know how we were doing ace from space, so three for three. For free. free. <laughs> what? Right? Seven? <clears throat> yeah. Whenever I, I set up the mood now, okay, now I'm going to win this hand on stream. I'm going to clip it and this is going to be something I'm going to share. I always get a bad beat. <laughs> clip it. <laughs> clip this also. <laughs> Don't clip all this. Yes, so please delete them. <laughs> Sure. Long, long, long night. That's what I'm, I'm gonna tell myself and just chill and relax. Don't worry, Adi. Thank you so much. If I need anything, I'm, I asked you. And when I wanted the chocolate eclair, I asked you. But thank you for being such a great host, always, even in your office when I come. You're really nice. And no one else can even enter his office because you need fingerprints for to enter. It's like a proper scanning kind of office. You can't enter. It's a top secret. Filled with gadgets. I'm scared to enter that room, it's like always, it could be, always be live. There should be one room that's always live. Like a news channel. Okay guys, I know it's getting a little slow for all of you to watch, but this is when you really need patience. This is now just how when the beginning of the tournament started, there was a different vibe, a different energy that is like early stages of the tournament. Then we reached the bubble stage, which was the middle mid stages. And when it was also very important, what all we did, we were getting a little like, you know, there were big hands played, there were a lot of spots that were taken. A lot of spots that we were giving up also um, now again we've gotten into that fresh it's at the late later stages but it's again going to be very relaxed people are going to play very calm the people are not now going to uh, people who are just holding on to four or five big blinds they go immediately all in after the money burst but uh, now everyone uh, now the money even though we are in the money uh, we everyone's getting paid but still now the chips have real cash value 
um, and we're gonna try and make the final table and just go higher and higher you know because that's the whole goal in in a poker tournament you want to try and come top three for the maximum return of investment for what you played you know that should be the goal and like we should not auto fold and now again especially in these ICM situations And it, this tournament is going to go until morning, so I'm very relaxed and I've kind of like reset myself. Um, and I'm just sharing my mindset thoughts with you because who knows how long I'm going to stream with you guys. I'm quite jinxed with streaming. <laughs> Adi? <laughs> quite jinxed. Whenever I'm trying to stream, something happens love the whole uh, layout of the OBS that you've done Adi it's great I really like it what? oh got it no no it's great Even briefing them is such a big task, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Oh, one point two percent thirty. Okay. That means he did a legit job, huh? So, um, if we had like Ace Queen Plus here, we could even jam actually. But I'm just gonna fold here. There's no point continuing, there's nothing to do here. Um, I know we're gonna fold here as well. This is a great stack, trust me. We're just gonna cruise our way now. I'm gonna fold this. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. We can't call these eight big blinds if they are presented to us. Don't ever fall for traps like that. <laughs> There's a guy with eight big blinds just limping. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sus. <laughs> and they, you know, they're so polarized here that they can actually have aces and they can actually have like eight, nine suited. Or five six suited. So that's the fun part. Yeah. How's the Friday night going, boys and girls? Yeah, and she was just about to go on, right? You so politely asked her to stop. <laughs> so politely, you were like, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Thank you, Ashok Kumar. 
I want to. Come on, let's do it one more time. Look, if we fall, this reward would have happened. But don't ever think like that. That's also something I did when I was just starting out. I used to always be like, oh, why did I fall that? But you shouldn't. Let's see the time. Forget the time, bro. Again, it's going to be. And if today, I promise, if I ship, then I'm going to go to the beach and see the sunrise before I sleep. Because if I. Then I won't. I don't want to miss the sunrise. And if I'm gonna play poker late, and if I, now this is gonna be my life again, then I'm gonna always see the sunrise and then go to sleep. That's hard, no? Cause then the rest of the day is gone, right? If you have any work. It's very hard to uh, sync with um, the world and family and everything uh, when you have a proper online poker player schedule when you are going to sleep in the morning and you're waking up afternoon. So, which is fair. Traders do that. A lot of people who work abroad do that. Like, there are a lot of people who are working with companies abroad. So, they do that. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're on a break. Okay, listen, I'm taking this break and I'm going to decide after this break whether I'm coming back or not. Addy, <laughs> I'm chilling. Don't blame it on me. <laughs> uh, what is uh, the infected soul? Just before I leave, I'm gonna answer your question. Of course, you should play. What is this? You should also play. Enjoy. I'm the gonna win this tournament, so too late. Yes, let's do this. Ace is on fire. Mosquito in pool. <laughs> Welcome to Goa. Okay, we're going on break, okay? Shock, a big thing, but it's also a big skill. Which is what we need to do with this shock. New Year brings in so much cheer, positivity, along with so many promises that we make to ourselves. You know, as poker players, I think we know best about this, right? You know what the funny part is? My dad always wanted me to go to B school and learn all these things. Patience, perseverance, great fund management, bankroll management, same thing. And uh, he was really disappointed when I told him I was not going to go to B school and that I was going all in in poker. <laughs> and uh, today, after coaching for so many years, when I see my B school applicants coming in and they want to get coached by me, the first thing I do is I send them out to my dad and I'm like, hey dad, guess who's come? Guess which college he's from? He's from your college, you know? <laughs> and uh, he has this little grin on his face, but fast forward to today, my dad's super, super happy and proud about the fact that uh, I've been doing this. Wow, see, that's what really matters. And no wonder there are more than 30 lakh players on Poker Bazi. I'm counting. It's not going to stop there. We're just <laughs> starting, we're just beginning. And uh, we both owe so much of our lives to this game. That's right. When I won the first ladies award from the president of India, that was an example of that nothing in life can stop you. That's another thing I learned uh, from poker, which B-School wouldn't have taught me, I guess. Why don't you join us this new year and take up poker as your resolution? It's going to be a fun and beautiful game. You won't regret. We will make sure that you do not break this new year resolution. Keep watching out for this space. Only with Poker Tank on Poker Bazi. This game may be habit-forming or financially risky. Play responsibly. Okay, cool. Good to go. Let's go. So a friend had actually gifted me a book recently called Thinking in Bets and there's a very famous line there. 
Life is uh, not a game of chess, it's actually a game of poker. I mean, in life, you don't know all the variables. So you need to keep making decisions based on whatever information you have and over time not worry about the outcomes. So, I mean, that really inspired me. Poker has generally like, really helped me in my entrepreneurship journey as well. You know, making those uh, stressful decisions with limited amount of data sometimes and not worrying about the outcomes. Because, you know, in life and in entrepreneurship, you need to keep making the right decisions over time. Well, I know lots of uh, trader friends, they've learned poker as a subject rather than as a game. They tell me as well that they're profitable because they know poker while they're trading. So one of the coolest things being a founder CEO is that you can really choose your own problems, right? And spend time on those problems inside the company. I mean, one day I'm working with the product team trying to figure out what is the best UI UX experience. The other day I was working with the marketing team and trying to figure out how the Shahid campaign should look like in the, you know, in all our ads. So I think that's the coolest part. When the pandemic hit, uh, I mean, the entire gaming industry saw a huge surge of traffic. And third month into the pandemic, our servers literally like crashed, bailed out on us completely. So two days we lost, uh, I mean, obviously lots of runtime and tons of users. And obviously we lost our number one position as well. I mean, that's the instance when, you know, I got all the founders together and we kind of made a promise to each other that, you know, we'll build the most sophisticated poker client in the world. And we've now built a very super scalable like architecture. And I think that's really helped us become the number one player and solidify that position. In the last eight years, my biggest learning has been that, you know, you should actually spend considerable amount of time on understanding the problem. Because the solution can only be as good as the understanding of the problem. So as a thumb rule in the company itself, you know, we've always uh, demarcated like this is the problem discussion meeting, this is a solution meeting. And whenever the, you know, there's uh, no conclusion for the problem statement, I mean, whenever there is no harmony in terms of understanding of the problem, we always say like after the end of the meeting, let's sleep over the problem. As an entrepreneur, we should really think a lot about the problem instead of, you know, Jogard and those bandit solutions. So when you're starting out your entrepreneurship journey, don't have a plan B. Because entrepreneurship is hard, there will be lots of highs and lows and in, when you're in your lowest point, you need that extra push. But if you do have a fallback option, it can make you soft. Not having a plan B in my life really like, you know, helped me, you know, drive harder, work harder than the rest. Because, I mean, that's what entrepreneurship is. So, I mean, entrepreneurs should look at, you know, smart money. So they need to really also fact check what VCs have done in their own other uh, investments. It also depends on what stage of the business you're at. Uh, do you need strategic help or do you just need financial help at that stage? So all those decisions really, you know, uh, matter a lot. Because if you've built a really solid business, uh, you should not, as an entrepreneur, worry about VC1 or a VC2. Eventually, if it's solid, you know the business well, you know the subject matter well, you will get VC money eventually if the business requires. So the toughest decision of uh, my entrepreneurship journey was actually building the software ourselves in the beginning. Poker is a, I mean, as a game, it's very sophisticated and the product itself is so sophisticated. There is synchronous gameplay. You need to worry about scale. You need to worry about uh, I mean, security, you need to worry about transactions and also the gameplay animation experience. So we took the road less traveled initially. Because of that decision, we can reap the fruits now. I mean, we're able to scale really fast. We're able to customize uh, the product based on uh, different data sets and what they really want. It's hyper-personalized for a lot of cohorts. So, I mean, that was the toughest decision, but I think the most fruitful one. For me, uh, lack of money really in the start uh, was a blessing in disguise, right? Lack of easy access to venture capital really helped us, you know, think about problems deeply. Uh, we started looking into different cohorts, started understanding them better, uh, started experimenting faster. In the beginning, we started building this philosophy that we need to, you know, build fast, scale fast or fail fast. शौक एक बड़ी चीज है पर उससे भी बड़ी चीज है स्किल जो इसी शौक को बड़ा करके दुनिया के सामने ले आए कॉन्फिडेंस क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग और स्पॉटलाइट में आके डिसीजन मेकिंग 
ये स्किल्स सिर्फ ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स को ही नहीं पोकर प्लेयर्स को भी डिफाइन करती हैं लर्न विद मी कुछ ऐसी स्किल्स ऑन पोकर टैंक विद पोकर We are back. We are back. Let's end up on FD. Yes, let's do it. Hold your swans. <laughs> Hold your horses. Um, lost all my hearts. Lost all my hearts. I've heard I've lost all my money. I've never heard I've lost all my hearts before. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream and we have action on the table two short stacks have gone in against the UTG opener Ikka 5 Ikka has to call He's getting too good a price with whatever hand he must have opened from the UTG <laughs> But he's gonna think about it. He's gonna fold and just like that, Ace 10 prevails and Pocket 8 can go home. Okay, sure. If you guys want to know the pay jumps in the lobby, let's go check it out. Okay, so what do we have here? The first place, this Addy wanted to see how much I'm minimum going to make. So the first place is getting 4.89 lakhs, which is almost 13.9% of the price pool, total price pool, 35 lakhs. This has crossed the guarantee. And um, second place is 3 lakhs, which is 8%, 6%, 5%, 4%. This is when, so this is where, you know, the great ICM will be. This is going to be a, some ICM situation over here. And over here, it's till, till here, it's going to be all normal play. Everyone's going to play like they should. No fancy feelings here. <laughs> Staking coming soon, right? Nice. We're going to have staking coming soon over here. <clears throat> Addy, you can rest. You can go up if you want. I'll call you if I need you. Okay, done. Nice.
या प्लीज वॉच फुटबॉल मैच who else in the chat is still playing right now and what are you playing what are you running deep in let me know we are also going to um what time are we coming back live tomorrow and who is doing it day after you done uh what time I hope to go for dinner with the gang tomorrow hopefully and day after Adi is going to stream at 8:30 so you have to come back day after for some more fun content and I have a screen right now trying to make it 4.5x so okay fold on the button there jack nine off no good especially to erase again jack nine off again even if it comes 10 times in a row it's still so random that the site has nothing to do with it <laughs> Okabazi is giving me jack nine again and again. <laughs> That's a funny thing to even assume. Hmm, charm by Mohit. Twenty-seven bigs in your face. Uh huh. <laughs> GG Did you just bust? GG Nikki mm, Show the king sends an emoji beats him up guys it replies with cheers <laughs> adi's watching football i think it's manchester no it's everton okay manchester united versus everton I wanted to understand the jersey numbers from you in football. What is the significance of? Uh... I heard something very funny. So Ronaldo has joined this um, Saudi team, right? So their number seven of that team said that 
I'm going to leave the team if I don't get, if you give Ronaldo my seven. Yeah, and then they just said, okay, go, it's not fun. Habibi, I want seven. <laughs> Only I get seven. I get it, but imagine his team telling him, Habibi, take six. <laughs> Habibi, take five. <laughs> no, I want seven. <laughs> Baby, take two million extra. <laughs> no, I want seven. <laughs> oh, I, I, I go. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. He left the team. He's like. So I wanted to understand that is it like uh, oh so we flopped a flush? Uh, is it is it like uh, I heard that you know maybe goalkeepers or fr uh, forward uh, players. So Adi saying generally numbers are grouped around what position they play. But there's no hard and fast rule. Goalkeepers are usually number ones. Excuse me, goalkeepers are usually number one. And then strikers are number nine. So, so then that number became like a iconic number. So Adi is saying that um, players who have done justice to these numbers have uh, basically done a great job for setting an example and that's the whole craze oh we flopped another flush and okay this time he bets into us are we gonna call and it's gonna be okay we just we're just gonna check this one because we have to bet on the river for value Thanks, Mr. Bone. That was a uh, nice way of saying that I bored you. <laughs> I'm so boring, huh? That he took a nap. He said, I got a compliment. Your voice is so soothing. I just took a nap. A great nap. <laughs> I just took a great nap. <laughs> Sweet play of words there, sir. I must say. You know? <laughs> Your uh, chat game is very strong. Okay, I'm gonna fold this. Again, no auto fold. I'm trying. I'm trying not to do auto folds, but it's just sometimes. And if you, I uh, just want to show you how much money we're gonna be getting right now. Just 15k, but there's a jump, a 2k jump only. Wait, I'm gonna tell you a significant jump. Actually, okay doesn't matter let's just play right now we we don't have to look at the thing right now and there was just aces versus east and happened right now i think So finally Goa has started clearing up also. All the tourists have started moving out. Yeah. Abhishek Goindi was shooting in Delhi. He's coming back. Is he back? Uh, he's not watching our stream obviously. Should we prank call him? I 
and do what say what chat give us some ideas what can we do right now if we could prank call someone it's just one of those moments i was supposed to decide whether i'm going to stop streaming or not my phone don't sleep now that's why i'm not even getting any notifications we have to show the proof Oh and let me take a picture for my Insta. There's a lovely hat also in the picture. Oh, I need to put this and take another picture. Oh, there's uh, banter going on. Pardon? What color are you supporting? Why are you so chilled about football? Yeah, people go crazy. Okay. Wh what's your favorite team? Which one? Arsenal. It's a stupid team. Okay, I opened queens and someone just jammed on me. So we're just flat calling, and he has eight dues. <gasps> Why queen? Why'd you call me here for this? Clip it. GG, guys. I wish. Oh, um, I mean, thousand. You wanna add it? And so you made like 17 initial rolls. I'm in shock right now. I mean, it shouldn't be, but. <laughs> yeah. He had 8 to so. It's fine, man. Like, but why 8 8 yeah? is that Is that real? Did that happen? That just happened, right? What the heck? Or is it queens? <laughs> Where'd it go? Yeah, where's my honesty? I want to open it. Okay, now, never mind. <laughs> Done. Thank you, thank you so much. This is it. Oh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, take some more points and redeem them because they get reset every 20th. Um, what's more to look out for? Now the weekend's here. Day after, Addy is back with some streaming. Can I also... I might join you. But I'll join you from my house. I can connect. I can try. I can try. Okay, done. So I'm also going to try and play the main with you guys again. Because <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. And um, GG to us. <laughs> What's the delay like in this? That double up would have been so sweet right now. No, I didn't even see you. how many people were left. I was going to keep it for the eight dues or what? Eight dues of spades. Avine oh, uh, Vadva, good luck to you. Uh, uh, you had a losing stream. Fun. That is, at least we always learn something. And since now it's on record, you can like always go back and get better. And you're going to bounce back. 2023 is going to be amazing for all of us and thank you so much everyone good night i think this is it yeah gg see you next time